So, up. Oh. oh, hey, you gotta you gotta beep that out. No, nah, you only said. You gotta beep that out. Yeah, you gotta beep it out. Were were you ever a key grip? Were you? Uh, a- that's technically a lie. You are a key I grip. Because so, yeah. you handle light. Didn't you say you worked on porn films once? Maybe. What was that thing you said? Fl- fluffer? Flurver? Fliffer. 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 You fliffered? Vajankle.com. Oh, oh, I saw a Vajankle. You finally got a Vajankle. They wouldn't sell it. They it, wouldn't it was sell bullshit. It. it looked like a real ad and everything. I'm like, hey, I wanna, I'll want i buy it. And it's not a real ad. Mm. There has to Is be. Is the one you sent me? Yeah. They use uh, Vajankle out there somewhere. <laughs> yeah, I totally want one. I just want to carry it around. The jingle. It would be interesting. You could put it in your a pair of shoes. Are you? Uh, you should get two. You might not have noticed, but there's a uh, there's a total war. Total right, war, right there for you. Oh, total war. All right. You can you can what? dump you can dump it in that can right there. I will. It, it, how do you know I don't have total war in there already? Are you ready for total war? Is that what? Uh, is that the color it comes out? This is a different total war. Oh, it's a different. You're total not ready war. for that one. No, I'm probably not ready for this one. You got to start with the because I know you like to get high high doses of caffeine and I'm I'm on the edge right now. I probably I probably need to go do about five minutes of cardio, burn some of this off. This is like my I don't know fourth, maybe fifth total war today. Today, well, I've been up since three. But it doesn't matter. As I'm long sure as, that the as recommended, long as I'm good, as long as I don't drink it after six p.m. I'm I can have sure it. the nope, I can have as much as I want. Like, whew. I can have as much as I want before six p.m. And I think I probably need to cut off at seven because if I cut off, if I don't drink it after up to six o'clock, I just wake up too early. I'm shooting for four thirty, three o'clock. Boom, I was up. There's actually directions on here, John, and uh, when those it are says, just those are just recommendations. When it, says, when it says how to take and when to take, that means you are taking way too much. What's it say? Uh, well, you're only supposed to do it twenty minutes before you work out. They don't want you to see that. That's why they print it so small. Is it FDA approved? Yeah, of course it is. I mean, somebody. I saw somebody actually. Somebody made reference to the FDA. I'm like, since when? Since when are we using the FDA to prove anything that we're saying any longer? Like, when are they actually do? If you know how you want to take a supplement, because the FDA is talking about banning it, you better go buy all of that shit right now, because you know that motherfucker works. That's probably true. It's fucking very it's true. true. Yeah, look at all of it. If the FDA banned it, that's the, you find out what that active ingredient is, and that's what you go look for. I mean, if you have enough money, though, if you have enough money, you can get anything FDA approved. <laughs> yeah, but they want, it's like millions of dollars. Still, to though. Something FDA approved. You get it FDA approved. You but get it, enough money. And it's all legal for a fee anyways. True. The, the people passing those laws, they're still using all that shit. Yeah. So what's going on? What do you want to What do you want to discuss? What's on your What's on your mind this week? A lot of crazy shits happened. There has been a lot of crazy shit. What What's at the forefront? Uh, I mean, I guess Hawaii's at the forefront with the fires. Hawaii's crazy with the fires. They just arrested a fucking president of the United States again, or they're they're demanding. Him. Okay, so him. the Hawaii thing's a big one. Let's go Let's go with the Trump one for a minute. They have now demanded. Uh, Trump has eight days to self-surrender in Georgia, <clears throat> along with 14 of his co-conspirators. Yeah, One of them for- was an assistant district attorney to the fucking State Department. Um, one was his actual attorney. Um, a couple of them were like people that worked at the place in Georgia in the polling facilities, but the others are like real big people. So DeSantis has come out and been like, this is horse shit. It's also partly Trump's fault. He should have fired all these fucking people, and he didn't. You'll be in jail if I... And he didn't do shit to her, you know? So my question is, and I was listening to Tim Pool talk about this, what if DeSantis was just like, hey, Trump lives in Florida. I'm not sending the state police to arrest him, and you ain't sending any federal agents to arrest him. Well, first off, this is the this is a a court in Georgia, Correct. It's not. That's why I'm federal. saying. What if? It's what not, if Trump was just like? It's not the feds. Yeah, we're after. not. Yeah, we're not doing. Um, that. Well, the interesting part is uh, the Secret Service. They're not going to arrest him. But no, what I'm saying is the interesting part is the Secret Service. I don't think that the Secret Service would allow Georgia state troopers 
to put cuffs on the former president of the United so States. So you think it's going to be Georgia state troopers that would well, come into the, Florida to... Th- but that's where the that's where the indictment is. Right, so if he surrendered, you don't think they're going to let him cuff him up? No, because that was the big stink in New York. They and, wanted they wanted to they wanted to perp walk Trump yeah. in New York. They wanted to handcuff him, and it was the Secret Service that was like, no, you're not handcuffing him. Because I think, you know, the, the reality is, it, this is the reason why you see it at the... This is the reason why you see it at the state level, okay? Because the at the state level, they're allowed to make buffoons out of their prosecuting attorneys. And so they're, they're allowing their prosecuting attorney to look like a buffoon and charge racketeering. <laughs> there's, there's no racketeering here, guys. Um, and so well, that's there, why there was t- some there. I can name some racketeering things that happened prior. They're, they don't have anything. Yeah, I'm not this talking is, about Trump. Yeah, they don't have anything. I mean, if, if if you haven't arrested the if you haven't arrested the current president of the United States for what he is doing in Ukraine, you don't have anything on Trump. Um, but they it, it, that's the reason why it's at the state level because the the states can be more buffoony than the feds. It becomes a big deal when it's it, it becomes a, a much bigger deal when it's DOJ. So no, the secret sir even if even if he shows up to court, the secret service is not going to let Georgia state troopers come out and put handcuffs on him because the difference between uh the secret service and this buffoon prosecuting attorney is they know that these charges are all bullshit. So they're not going to let him they're not going to perp walk Trump. So the sheriffs out there saying that he's going to get the same treatment as everybody else and you've got all these these mouthpieces in Georgia <laughs> saying that we're actually going to put him in custody and he's a flight risk and we're going to actually jail him nope. and he is not he's not leaving he's actually going to go into this jail they've named the jail and apparently there's a ton of shit online people saying that it's a hellhole the there's fucking like mold everywhere none of the fucking fl- faucets it's like a county jail again, you know and uh they're like yeah people die in this place again uh flight risk he, he's a flight risk he has secret service protection I'm so meaning be- so that means that means that everywhere he goes, we know where he's going. So he can't be a flight risk. I'm, so not that's only just that, I'm sure, I'm sure he's got a fucking a beacon in him. Yeah, well, it's just bullshit. It's just it, all they're trying to do is they're trying to uh, alienate him. They're trying to grandstand and alienate uh, Trump supporters. The problem is they keep crying wolf. They keep crying wolf. They keep. So I don't know if they think this is helping their base. Like if their base is. Like, if I was a Democrat at this point, I'd be like, dudes, just fucking get over it and let's move past this. Because all they're doing, the reality is, every time they do this... The polls go up. The polls go up for Trump. Yep. They make Trump look better because, again, it's the man coming after... It's the man coming after Trump for nothing. So, and, and... if you're not going to, if you're not going to charge Hunter Biden and you're not going to charge the current president of the United States with crimes that we know they've committed, then all this fake stuff that they're doing with Trump just doesn't, it's just bullshit. One of the charges on my case was interstate commerce. And I'm like, I didn't go anywhere. We didn't, like nothing, ha- apparently anything you do over the internet and uh, you sell yeah. to another state. So they can, they can add Rico onto any of that shit. Yeah. But it, it, the, the problem is the way they're going after it is they, the Democrats are just, I, I just don't, I don't know if they are, if they're, if they just are so stupid, they don't understand that they're trying to implicate Trump in things that they did themselves. Did themselves. So, I mean, like already. Like Russian collusion? Already they just pulled, uh, <laughs> they just pulled Nancy uh, Pelosi's uh, emails. Oh, shit. And she is seriously implicated in denying security for January 6th. Apparently denied National Guard yeah. as well. So, I mean, come on. You're just, I don't know. I, 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 it would be different. It would be different if the. Like if the Democrat Party got their shit together, and they and they were towing the line, and they were they were the party of law and order, then it wouldn't matter. But the problem is, they have done everything they can to destroy law and order in this country, so it doesn't mean anything. The Democratic Party running around talking about we're going to put you in jail for the 
Your laws do not apply if they do not apply equally. That's guess what who, makes uh, America great. Guess who's out of out of prison? Who's out of prison? We had talked about him a long, long time ago. Who? Oh, I know OJ's out. Uh, Sam Bankman Fried. Sam Bankman Fried. Yep. Who's Sam Bankman Fried? The crypto dude. Oh, crypto dude. Yeah. So because Sam he ba- because he paid millions and millions of dollars to the Democratic Party. Party. So Sam Bankman Fried and you said. He's gonna. He they're, they've dropped all charges, and people lost their shit. They're like, no, they only dropped one charge. They didn't nope. drop all. Well, well, where are all you guys at now? Because that motherfucker's out walking around right. He now. dropped all charges because he paid the Democratic Party off. He used cryptocurrency. It, I mean, look, I get it. You there's a bunch of you dudes running around driving Ferraris because you put money into um, cryptocurrency. How's your crypto account looking? I'm not. I'm not touching it because it's a, it's it is a pyramid scheme, plain and simple. Bernie made there were there were individuals there were individuals uh, in Bernie Madoff's scheme that were driving around Ferraris because certain people get paid off and certain people don't get paid off. Eventually, that is just going to collapse. Uh, but you know, fortunately for cryptocurrency, the federal government is run by buffoons again, and because it's run by buffoons, the the scam that is cryptocurrency keeps keeps working because ke- people keep throwing money in the bottom of that the bottom of that pyramid so you can keep paying people to drive ferraris around um but what color ferrari are you getting red uh gt what is it what's the magnum pi one you want a 458 i mean there's a lot of other shit but 458 will be no, I, it has to be the magnum pi one what was the magnum pi one i don't know gt something convertible would you wear... Um, I would wear a New York Yankees ball cap. Would you wear a range, Ranger UDT Day shorts? shorts? Yeah, of course. Have to. Have to. What color would they be? Uh, they would be tan. So, pee stain. I mean, if you're peeing in your pants... You're still going to have ball sack sweat on them. Oh, you're, you're going to have... You don't have... Here's the thing about... You probably have ball sack sweat right now. Here's you just the thing can't about, see it on those gray fucking cool pants. Here's the thing about, here's the thing about UDT shorts that you probably don't, are not aware of. Your balls hang out of the bottom of your UDT shorts, <laughs> so you never have ball sweat. They're always just in the breeze. Only yours. You have, you have big giant balls. No, only in the breeze. That That is the reason. <laughs> crazy, crazy. The Marine Corps the Marine Corps used to allow Marines to wear UDT shorts everywhere on deployment. Not just recon Marines? Not just recon Marines. If you had UDT shorts, you could wear them everywhere on deployment. It was only when females, it was only when females were brought aboard ship that UDT shorts were banished. Now you have to wear footy pajamas? You got Yep. They were banished. And why were they banished? Ball sex. Have you ever been stopped on your Super 73 bicycle? No. I totally picture you in, like, footy pajamas with a rabbit, rabbit ears or something. Or that like would be great hood. for that. No? A yellow, maybe a yellow and pink M4 carbine on the handlebars? Do you have video of him on the Super 73? No. You didn't just take video? Nothing? Just you. Are you fucking with me? No. I'll make sure you get the video. I'll give it to you. I'll let the big dog out. We'll see if he can outrun him. Cut it in there. Are you? I hear you're selling a Super 73. You're getting rid of a Super 73 because you upgraded to what? Trail 120. CCs. He's a he's a he's a he's a, he's a Matt, carbon carbon emitter. He's a carbon emitter. He's a carbon. He's a he's a net polluter. They're not even sold in Australia. He's a net polluter. Your carbon footprint. Yeah, his carbon footprint just got bigger. Are they not sold in Australia? Why? Because of the emissions. Who is what? This? In Australia? Come on. What? Somebody's Why? calling from Atlanta, Georgia. I've never even seen my phone light up before. It's, I, I, I can't. Why are all these? Why are all these places that you know? In my head, like in my head, I think when I think of Australia, I think of hard, rough, and tumbly dudes walking through the outback, hunting alligators. Uh, just freedom. I think of freedom when I think of Australia. And lo and behold, you want me to no. tell you? You want me to tell you what happened? No. No freedom, and then I, and do you same know, thing. Do you know what? You know, there's a woman in charge. Oh Jesus Christ! That's it's, not that's not what happened though. Do you remember when they did the gun registration? Uh-huh. Do you know what they did right after that? 
No. What was that? A few years years later, they fucking rounded up all the guns. There's no guns in Australia. Uh, they actually do still have a lot of guns. Yes, guns. they have, like, Quigley guns. Yeah. Well, it's still, a, a Quigley gun will kill you just as easy as anything else. No, no. People yeah. get attacked by kangaroos all the time. There's uh, not enough guns. So, same thing, like. You know, I, they, have a whole, they have a whole fucking, like, wild cat problem there. Yeah. Uh-huh. Do you know about the they have, rabbits on they have Australia? Wildcat, they have wildcat hunters. Yeah. Australia. Do, do you know about the rabbits on Australia? Australia. That's the funny thing. It Aust- came from just 70. But Australia is a prime example of, like, when you when Bill Gates is like, hey, guys, this is what we're going to do. We're going to do this thing, and it's going to fix the world. Australia is a prime example of those people do not know what they're talking about. First, we're going to put rabbits out there. Oh, my God, we have a rabbit problem. <laughs> then we're going to put cats out there to take care of the rabbits. Holy shit, we have a cat problem. It's a prime example of when someone who thinks they're smarter than everybody else says, hey, you know what would be cool? Let's put bears in the city. Um, <laughs> it'll take care of the rat problem. You're going to have a much bigger problem with the bears I've than you did movie. with the rats. I've seen this yeah. movie. It's like, uh, But the, the other one is Canada. I am legend. Can't, the other one is Canada. Canada's, you know, I think Canada's Canada, got some real people there. I, when I think of Canada, I think of super nice maple syrup, lumberjack, axe-wielding freedom lovers. And it's it's like China part two up there. Yeah, well, it's also, it's like California, right? It's the CCP up there. When you look at the craziness that's happening in California, it's in a little it's in little pockets. Oh, poop. That's how Canada is. Canada is in little pockets. If you look at the majority, it's like it's like Mexico and everything below it. I'm just saying. When, Less than seven, 70% of it's fucking wild jungle. I'm just saying. When Pooh Bear goes to sleep at night in China, he dreams of Canada. Yeah. He dreams of Canada. He's like, oh my God, those guys, well, I mean, those guys is, are just doing it. It is Fidel Castro's kid. It is true. It's true. There's pictures of his mom, like, Gang bang and Castro. That's like if you're not if you don't know what we're talking about, look that up. Look at a picture of Castro right next to um, Trudeau. Trudeau, and just you can't even just just type in Trudeau's mom, and just fucking unravel that. It's just I I, I mean I don't understand what happens to these, these places. I like Brit- the World uh, Economic Forum is what happens to uh, them. Britain, chip, I am chip, so chip, happy. Chip. I'm so happy that they broke away from the European Union. I know it was tough. I know it was rough. And I know you guys are probably, you know, some some shit's more expensive now. But you're better than the European Union. Definitely better than the European Union. So I'm, I, I'm, I'm, I'm willing to embrace them back. When do you think they're going to um, end the Second Amendment here in the United States? When? Uh, what's going to happen is... Next week? What's going to happen is the, the Supreme Court... Is going to shit can everything that the yeah, ATF seems, seems to be happening. The Supreme Court is going to shit can everything that the ATF has been trying to do, and then that will be well, okay. But the ATF's still going to do it. No, they won't be able to. They're still knocking on people's doors. They, they won't be able to. They're still knocking on people's doors over shit they've told. They've been told they can't fucking um, do. The, the way they're going to supersede the way they supersede the Second Amendment is through a serious war powers act so you mean patriot act no war powers but that's war what powers the, that's what the patriot act war, did war that's powers. What RF, i just listened to rfk the words came out of his yes. mouth patriot act allows the patriot act allows them to do certain things uh do certain things on a small scale but when you actually declare war so when we declare war against the chinese or the alien invasion. It's also funny you say that because we haven't first. declared war on any of these wars we've yes. been in. They will declare war on us. When they declare war on China, the War Powers Act will be in and it will they can then they can just go door to door and do whatever they want. I think they'll try I that. mean they can't. The reality is they can't do any of that shit unless Americans let them. How many um are you aware of the the militia of Texas? Uh no. Apparently Texas has its own militia, and it's like a it's a real fucking thing. They've got like technicals and fucking they've got you know equipment and shit. Yeah, that's cool. Um, I heard Bear talking about it this morning. Toyota Hiluxes. And he was like, "Yeah, you know, everybody's worried about these these four hundred thousand combat age males in the United States." He's like, "I'm not, and I'm not saying don't be worried about it, but the the militia of Texas." could put an end to that just by themselves just the militia of texas 
They're they're over. I think they're five hundred thousand. Yeah, the the they they keep. I get it. You know, it's weird that uh, you see all these people coming across the border and they're all uh, military age males. Uh, there's a reason for that. There's there is a there is a reason for that, and the reason for that is most of these people are coming from countries where head of household is the man. There's no head of household for the female. She is, unfortunately, if you're talking about Sudan, you're talking about anywhere in Africa, you're talking anywhere in the Middle East, the wife is a second-class citizen. It is the man's job to move to where the work is and attempt to create a better life for his family. So that's why you see a lot of these um, military-age males coming from all over the that part of the world because – you you don't send your females. You just here's, don't send. You just don't send your females. Here's something else that you might not be aware of too. Um, I was just listening. RFK just said he's like <laughs> all these all these dudes coming across the border. I'm not saying you're not aware of it. All these guys coming across the border are coming through cartels. The cartels are running TikTok ads yeah. and TikTok videos on literally. Okay, you need this passport, and you go to this place, and you get this paperwork, and then you show up. And we will transport you to the U.S. border. Once you have these things, these are the things you will need for the United States to bring you over. So the cartel is actually orchestrating and initiating this. And the cartel is charging them yes, $15,000 a person. They're making serious money. And they're like, okay, you show up here. We will transport you here. We will drop you off at this point. You're going to come across. They're going to bring you through Indoc. And they're basically going to, you're going to go before a magistrate right there. And he's going to give you, um, they're going to, they're going to give you some paperwork and a phone. And then they're going to transport, the they're going to literally transport you. Where, where do you in the United States do you want to go? These guys already have a choice as to where they're going to go. And the cartels or orchestrate that as well. And these guys are out for 10 years walking around the United yep. States. Now, RFK, he had a point I hadn't thought of. He's like, okay, so we've just brought millions of illegal immigrants into the United States that are not going to be kicked out and no enforcement for 10 years. But because they're illegal status, they're working for 6 to $7, $8 an hour. What that also does is it downgrades... <laughs> all of the work for the U.S. citizens because these people, they can't get Correct. gainful employment, so they have they have no choice. or They take jobs where an employer will pay them $6 an hour and not have to pay a U.S. citizen $10, $20 an hour. I also just, um, while we're talking about dollars per hour, um, our buddy who has a trash route, right? Okay. He, he said he's, he's got another truck. He's like, I never thought it would be so hard to find a person to drive around in a truck with air conditioning, listen to your own music, and get paid $25 an hour. He's like, I've had two people show up, one ghosted, and I had a dude that was super gung-ho, ready to go. And he's like, I pay the insurance, I pay the fuel, you've got a fuel card, you, all you got to do is show up. Now, you're picking up trash bags. You're a trash man is what you're doing. And in on these rural routes, I know you know, but most yeah. of the listeners probably, I was very, trash here is very different than it was in San Diego. In San Diego, a truck came out with a robot arm and they gave you these three, four, five trash cans and you had like trash can police would come around and look because in the green one, you're not allowed to have anything in the green one other than like green recyclables. Um, in the blue one, you were only allowed to have glass, paper, and plastic. And then, like, true garbage went in the black one. And then if they ever found batteries, you were in trouble. Like, you're not around to throw you, – your batteries and your light bulbs have to go to Lowe's, Home Depot, right. um, shit like and that. And then they just throw them in the trash. And then trash. in San Diego, you didn't have, like, a trash bill. It was part of, like, San Diego gas and electric and then it your was water. Part of your sewer. Yeah, your yeah. water and sewer and shit. Sewer. So, um, also in San Diego, because I remember seeing them when I would come home from school, you'd get this tag that said, hey, motherfucker – pay your electric bill. And then a few months later, every month that tag would be there once a month. And then when you didn't pay it, it would change color and it'd be like yellow. And then it'd become orange and it'd become peak. And you knew when you were driving around and your neighbors hadn't paid that bill because you'd see that. It's like a, it's like a strobe light. Like everybody knew, oh, that, that bill didn't get paid. But I know that our bill wasn't paid many, many times. And we got to the pink one. And they never turned your gas or electricity off in San Diego. You're, they never turned that shit off. Here, man, you're, you're 24, you're 20 minutes late. They come, they pull your meter out here. They, they come in like when they turn your water off, 
Because I, I know I had my water turned off. I just, we, I don't know why we didn't pay it. We fucking could totally handle it. But we, I go to turn it back on. There's a lock on that motherfucker. They put a lock. So if you cut the lock and you walk in Monday and you pay it, if, if they don't like you or you've had some history with them or whatever, they'll haul your ass into court for theft of services. Shit's different here. So trash guy. It's like for, when we moved here, it was fourteen dollars. We had a company called Fox Sanitation, and they'd come once a week, and they would pick up our trash, and we would just leave cash once a month in an envelope on the trash. That's how most everything's handled here. These dudes, they did not. They would take a check also, but they did not. They didn't have PayPal, and <laughs> nothing was really how it is right. currently um, back then. But Jason. Our buddy, he was saying, you know, I, I had this dude, totally wanted to do this. Everything was good to go. Um, the route takes three hours. You're going to work three hours to do this job. Um, no, it w- maybe it was more than that. Maybe it is more hours. But it's 25 bucks an hour. And the dude, like, freaked out because Jason's like, okay, here's how the cameras work. He's like, cameras? He's like, yeah, I have cameras front, back, left, and right. So if some woman says that you, you know, came by and you sideswiped her car or something, this protects you. Right. There's evidence. There's, right. It protects us. If, if somebody says, like, you ran over my toddler at the end of the driveway, well, you, clearly you didn't. And here's video that it, that didn't happen. And the dude freaked out and ghosted. He's like, dude, I have a, I have a whole nother truck ready to go. I can bring on 100 more clients right now. He's bought um, he bought a whole nother another route. Um, a guy died of something during the something, you know, during the thing. And uh, he's like, they, the family came to me. He's like. Hey, um, so and so has expired. We, we want to know if you wanted to buy the route. And he's like, not not to be a dick, but I don't need to buy the route. Like they're going to come to me anyways. He's like, no, 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 no. We just want you know, just give us eight thousand bucks. We'll give you all the equipment. We'll give you the truck. We'll give you all the stuff. So I I think he did that. He ended up with the route, but he just he has more work. He's literally turning down work, and at twenty five dollars an hour to drive a vehicle with air conditioning. He can't get anybody to do it. Hmm. It's just the work. The worker force isn't there. Now he's in a, a, ta- a small town, even more spread out than we are. But still, people always ask me, like, "What would you do if you couldn't do SOE?" I'm like, "I'd mow." Yeah, John would mow. The the tr- the real answer is force gump it. The real answer is, especially like people here. There's people like, I don't have like somebody had said on uh, on our Patreon. He's like, "Hey man, I can't uh, afford to pay." So I got a ghost out of Patreon. I know you'll understand. And I'm like, uh, that's complete horseshit. If you don't listen to, if you're paying $5 a month, if you can't make $500 within a day or two of listening to the things that I say on the, on our other content, you're not going to make it anyways. Like I, you, I, I can't help you. And, uh, it, it's just bizarre. Like, because what I would do, like we have all these people here, there's no work. Well, I, I know you're driving because, there's pictures of you in a vehicle and you afford vape and you've got cigarettes and you got it's all this the, shit. It's the 75% rule, which is <clears throat> if the government, if the government is, if the government subsidizes is subsidizing you, you at 75%, yep. why, why would you elevate yourself 25% to not get all that free stuff? It's because they're subsidized. Because what I would do is I would drive my ass to Jackson and I'd sit in a fucking parking lot and I'd have Uber and I'd have fucking Grubhub, and I'd have fucking Lyft. I'd have all those apps. I, I open. would say, I would say that I would say that you wouldn't even need to do that. I would say I will argue that there is work right here in Camden, Tennessee, that is well paying. Might be hard work, you know. Might be some, you know, digging a ditch, or it might be hard work. But there is work here. People just don't want to work, and it's because they're I'm with you. It's it's because they're. They're comfortable at what they're doing. I'm, I'm with you. We have factory work that's starting at $35 an hour right here. But I don't want to do factory work. I, that's why I'm saying. If this was me, I would go have these apps open. And I just saw another program that actually prioritizes it. Basically, you are registered on all these apps, and it funnels them into one, and it'll actually plan your route. So if I'm, if I'm going here to pick this up, it'll tell me, hey, there's a pickup here and it'll be on the way of your destination here. It'll actually you, nest them. Did you see the, did you see the Uber, the Uber study? Like Uber is, uh, 
Do you see the boy girl, the, the, the difference with Uber e, between e, men and women? Yeah. The, the Uber is the perfect study because they, they track everything. Uh -huh. And what did they find out that we've always known? Men work longer hours. They go into places that women will not go. But that's not how it was spun. It was spun that women don't get paid as much as men. And then when the when when Tate talked about it yeah. and Crowder talked about it and Bet David talked about it, he said, Well, hold on, hold on. Why do women get paid less in this instance? Yeah. Oh, because you guys you guys don't work in the dark. You don't go to these areas. You like you yeah, just you're you not just putting you the effort in. You don't in. put the effort in that the that the mm -hmm. men will put in. And I and that and that is actually, whenever they dig into like if if they dig into, I don't know, we'll say, Singer Sewing Machine Company, and when they dig in there and they say, oh, women are paid this much less than men. When they dig in, they always find the same shit. Men are willing to put in more hours than women are win willing to put in. So, I mean, that's that's just it. Men are willing to work harder, longer than women are. And that's why men get paid more. And the reality is they're willing to do more dangerous shit. You have some social media accounts. Do you, do you find it necessary to list your pronouns on your social media? I don't, I don't do know. You have your do, so I have, do you have pronouns on your social media? Do I have social, do I have pronouns? Could I, would I have pronouns? I don't know what, I don't know. I don't even understand the question. I do every time I buy a gun. Oh, every time I buy a gun, I, I just, I, I really want to, I just want to check. Black female? No, non-binary. Is that on your it's gun? It's on there now. Is, what's it's, that, a forty-five seventy-three? Yeah, it's on the 44 I just, I just really want to click non-binary, um, but, I mean, just as a hoot, but I, I'm i sure 10 years from now, that's going to be a big problem. So did you see the, um, did they, they took it to civil, civil defense lawyer? What is it called? Um, <clears throat> civil rights lawyer. Took some cases where um, they had stopped some people with legal medical marijuana um rousted this dude out of his car found some he had legal weed he also had a ccw they arrest him on grounds of having drugs and guns together um pull his shit i don't think he was even from that state so it goes some civil rights lawyers pull this it goes in before the the higher courts and they said no good to go um there's actually there was a huge lawsuit they had to pay this dude and they gave him all his shit well back. he got lucky but this, it's happening more and more. But he got lucky yes. because the when you purchase a firearm, I hear what you're saying. When you purchase says, a firearm, it says but no lawful it, it, or when legal. You, when you purchase a firearm, you're actually purchasing a firearm from the federal government. You're not purchasing a firearm from your state government. That is a federal form that you're filling out. Weed is not legal at the federal level. I hear you. It's just like right now there is a sheriff in San Bernardino County. That is staking out the weed, weed dispensaries, dispensaries and robbing them and hitting those and hitting those trucks. He's not robbing them. He's I, doing I got asset you. forfeiture. I got you because weed is not legal. So there was a bunch of stuff where um, the feds just put a ton of money into asset forfeiture. They're yeah. taking um, the way they're working it is they're just taking all these local level law enforcement and deputizing them onto task force. So they have no, they can't be sued. They can just do all this horrendous shit, which would expose normal law enforcement to major lawsuits and even jail time, and nothing happens to these people. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't I don't believe that. I don't believe that you need. I, it's just one of those weird things. I don't. I again, I'm not a lawyer. I did stay at a Holiday Inn Express once, though. I don't feel like you need a law called asset forfeiture to take millions of dollars from a uh, Joey cartel, right? From fucking uh, Pablo Escobar. I don't, I don't believe you need some sort of special law for that. Um, the reality is they use asset forfeiture to prop up small departments across the country. Well, they're incentivized even. And well, they are, but the, you know, the crazy thing is, the, the crazy thing is, and this is racketeering, and it, it is racketeering to an extent when you think about it, is they, when, you know, when they take $2,000 from you because you were uh, getting ready to go buy a new car, and they take that money from you, and you don't, you don't have the capability to take it to court, and are you going to fight over $2,000? It's going to cost you more than that just to go into court, right? So you're just mad. They have to kick up to daddy. 
they have to kick 45% of their haul to the federal government. So it's it's really racketeering. Fuck yeah, and it's, it's, but it's, in, and it's incentivized, right? Yeah. How do those guys get promotions for that shit? Well, there's I, there's if, video of them on the side of the road. They stopped a they stopped a marine. Um, he had just gotten out. I think he had thirty five thousand dollars. His life savings. He was moving. But I, I don't remember where this. It was within the last year or so. And you can see the fucking the dash cam footage and shit. Um, he the cop wants to seize this, so they call the DEA and the DEA fucking task force dude shows up and they have this conversation about. Okay, if we take this, how much? Where's the split? And they were fucking. They laid it all out yep. right there on video. Um, the crazy thing is, the incentive is this: like you can drive down, uh, you can drive right down here to Task Force. Uh, they have nicer cars, they have nicer kit, right? Than the than even than just regular Camden Sheriff's Department. They also don't have to do the bullshit so they work. Get, yeah, they don't have to do the bullshit work. So the the incentive is there. The incentive is there to. Uh, do asset forfeiture now? Am I saying that? I mean, the reality is ninety. Let's just say ninety-eight percent. Ninety-eight percent of what they take is probably legitimate crime money. Okay. Uh, but still, it just seems so racketeering that they. <laughs> it just seems so. Like you, you should have to have you should have to be able to prove a crime before you can take somebody's property. And I, I mean, I, that's a Fourth Amendment thing, anyways. So I, I, I am not, I am not for asset, asset forfeiture. Um, I just watched a video <laughs> yesterday. There was two, two. I think they're college girls, right? And they're in a vehicle, passed out of sleep, and they had been at a, a party at this apartment complex or whatever. <laughs> they drove there. Got drunk, realized they were too drunk to drive, got in the car, went, went to sleep. sleep. Cop, female cop rolls up, knocks on the window, starts asking him a bunch of questions. And the chick's like, yeah, we were just too drunk to drive. We thought the responsible thing was to just lay here and go to sleep, which they did. Another cop comes up. She relays the story, and she's like, can we get them for anything anyways? And that's, I, that's how they are. Can we get them for anything anyways? And they did. They arrested her because... She had control of the vehicle by being in the vehicle with the keys. Keys weren't in the ignition. Car wasn't running. It just happened to be there. But you committed a crime being intoxicated. That, was, uh, that is what you have there is somebody trying to boost their numbers. Yep. Because uh, that I guarantee yeah. you, if you if you were to dig deeper, I guarantee you that got thrown out. I don't know. I, don't, I guarantee but they, you. But got she still out. went to jail. They arrested her. Took her to jail. Guarantee you got thrown out. So. We have a law enforcement buddy that said, hey, if you've ever get in an accident or you wreck your car or anything, and there's any question that you have alcohol in your system, he said, immediately lock your keys in the car, walk up the street to the liquor store, buy some booze, and come back and just sit at your car. Now, maybe there's a crime because you left the vehicle. I'm like, why? why? Okay, I've never, I've never been drunk in public, much less dri driven drunk. He said, well... Because you wrecked your car and you were distraught, and now you went and got alcohol and drank the alcohol, and that's going to explain the alcohol in your system. Just don't drink and drive. Correct. Yes, but I, I just thought it was it, that a that a cop. But is I will telling tell you, this. I will tell you a, a story. Okay. So this is Hawaii. In Hawaii, there is a hotel. Are you aware that there's still a Hawaii Five O TV show? It's terrible. Are you aware that there's NCIS Hawaii? No, I mean there's NCIS. Do you think that there's tunnel systems all through Hawaii? Yeah. Okay, I mean, tell me the drunk tell me the drunk driver yeah. story. So in Hawaii there's a military hotel that's right on uh, on the main Hawaiian drag. So it's not really on a base, but it's a military hotel. And that military hotel also has Is this a code word for brothel. No. It's a real hotel. Um it also has a military parking garage which is right downtown. And so it's an ideal spot if you're for NCIS, it, no. If you're a if you're a couple if you're three Marines that are there visiting, doing some sort of special training operation, and you have a minivan to your disposal, do you do J turns in the garage? Not in the garage, but anyway, do a J turn in the garage. Yeah, you could easy. Could you? Yeah, of course. I'm gonna hit a pillar. No, I could do it. I just saw you doing J turns on the bicycle. I mean, that was tough. The bike is a little loose. You're gonna have a third knee replacement. Little, little loose. Um. <laughs> anyway, so. We do that. We do some heavy partying in Waikiki, 
Oh, so now it's a we. Now, now yeah, there's, you there's three of us. No, no, there's three of us. There was three of us. I'm not going to lie. They know who they are. You know who you were. There's three of us, and we're we're partying pretty hard in Waikiki. And the rule is make it to the van. You got to make it to the van before the sun comes up. So because it just gets too fucking hot. We were there in the summertime. It just gets it's it's a uh, Tennessee. You know, gets that Tennessee humid hot there. More tropical. And so yeah, more tropical. So we. We make it to the van. Well, one of our... Can you just, like, is fruit growing everywhere in Hawaii? Can you just, like, eat on the way to the truck? Yeah, it's 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 paradise. Like Hawaii is guavas paradise. guavas and shit everywhere. Yeah. They, there's actually people that hand flowers to you as you're walking down So, the like, even their homeless people have food. Yes, everybody does. It's nice. There's chickens. You can get eggs. It's crazy. So, we make it to this parking garage. Now, I've had way too much to drink. Minivan. You don't throw up in the van because it's the van. So, I lean out of this van and create this alcohol tidal wave that is 180 degrees. It's a, it's, it probably goes out six feet, but it's a 180 to the front of the van. So I've created this, this shield, right? A minefield per se for anyone who thinks they're going to approach the side of the van. Now we're parked against a wall. So in order to approach the van, you have to approach through the minefield. So the driver is like, no way. I'm too fucked up. We're just going to we're going to stay in the van. We're going to do the thing. We're going to sleep in the van. <laughs> but it again, it's Hawaii. It's hot. It's hot. We tried to go with the doors closed. Are the doors open? All the doors open, all the windows down. Are you in a parking garage? We're in a parking garage. Too hot. <clears throat> just too hot. So up. Oh. oh. Hey, you got to you got to beep that out. No, nah, you only said you got to beep that out. Yeah, you got to beep it out. So. They love it when we beep stuff out. It's hot. It, it's hot. And so the decision is made that we're going to turn the engine on. It's getting roll, hot in here. Roll up the windows and run the AC for a couple minutes. There's so your, There's a crime. We, we roll up the windows, hit the AC, cars running in the parking lot. These two young army MPs. <laughs> They, I can, I'm looking out the window and I can see them. They're, they come up the stairwell. They see the the van, the only van on this level of the parking garage. Cause it's, it's probably three o'clock in the morning. They come walking towards the van and they make it to the minefield. One of them actually steps in it and is like, holy shit. They start freaking out because of all the vomit. <laughs> I open the door. I open the door and they're like, Hey, what are you motherfuckers doing? And we're like, it's hot. We got the AC on. We're not going anywhere. We're just going to stay here. It's just hot. And they're like, you can't have the car running if you guys are all f- drunk. You need to turn the car off and just stay put. So you don't eat carbon monoxide poison? No, no. Because, again, the law. because of the law. It's technically, you, once you put your keys in the ignition... You're actually driving your car. But they're arresting people that don't have keys in the ignition. Um, and that's why I think those things will get thrown out once you make the court. What if you just hid your keys under the car? <coughs> um, so, there's an argument between the driver and these MPs. Now, they can't get close. And I know they don't want to deal with three dudes, especially dude in the back who's throwing up. So, they're kind of like, just turn the car off and don't go nowhere. <laughs> so... They turn around, and they start walking to the stairwell. We got the doors open. It's it's hot. It's Hawaii. And they walk. They get in the stairwell. They're walking down the stairwell, and at that moment, the driver, he throws his seat forward because he was leaning back. He throws his seat forward. He's like, Projectile. no. He's like, fuck this. It's too hot. Fires up the van. He's like, close the door. We slide the door close. I slide the door close. We do the loop-de-loop. And as the MPs, as the two young MPs come out of the stairwell, so they, they're at the stairwell at the front, we bounce out of the out of the <laughs> out of the parking garage, boom, boom, down to some unknown location in Hawaii. And I'm sure they were so thankful that we were gone. That they're like, Oh my God. I am I hope they make it. I'm sure they were like, I hope they make it to where they're going, but I'm also glad that we don't have to deal with those guys anymore. <laughs> 
Would you rather have 29 Palms hot or Hawaii hot? Uh, 29 Palms hot. It's a dry heave. It's a dry they, they heave always in 29 say that Palms. Shit. They say that bullshit about it's Vegas. A, it's a dry heave in 29 Palms. So. It's a dry heat. I'd much rather have that than, than the bullshit. And, I mean, even here when it gets humid. We've been out and we were out in Henderson. You know, we'd stay out there for weeks, month at a time mm-hmm. or whatever. And they were building all those new... Well, everything was new out there. Fuck. But you'd go, we'd go to, the, I'd go with James to, not Re- James Rex Road, not James uh, mm-hmm. Yeager. We'd go to these plazas they'd build, and they'd have these giant fucking sporting goods stores and everything. It was just cool, right? There's always something we were going to. But when you get out of the car, your feet would sink in the fucking parking lot. The asphalt was so, so hot, hot, you could literally see where your footsteps had been because it's relatively new asphalt. They just made asphalt different in Vegas, I guess, or it was gets exceptionally hot. hot. It gets, gets hot out there. Everybody, hot. Everybody's like, NASA says this was the hottest month of the year. Of what Of what year? This year? Yeah. Yeah, you're right. This year. Yeah. But if you look back in the last 100 years, it's, it's not the hottest. Well, they. It, it's one of those things where they, uh, which, again. NASA. You mean NASA who lost no, the telemetry and can't go back to the moon? Which, it's one of those things where they, um, they cherry pick it. Mm-hmm. And they cherry pick it like this, to where they're meet like their narrative. Well, it's it's not that. It, I mean, it is it is to meet their narrative, but they cherry pick it where they go. It's the hottest it's ever been in Camden, Tennessee, in the hundred right. years that Camden's been here. Okay, yeah, but it wasn't that hot in New Johnsonville. <laughs> you know, I walked I walked out last night, probably eight o'clock, and it was actually chilly outside. Yeah, it's it's uh it's coming. Amanda's like it's going to be eighty one uh, today. I'm like that seems cool. She's like, yeah, it's been 95. 81 is yeah. kind of cool right now. The old, the old leaves are going to start changing colors. Well, my corn all died. It, it, I, it had, I had corn. I, I really thought I was going to get corn off of all the stalks. I had the corn, had the tassels. Why did it die? Chemtrails, probably. That's that's the because I'm growing it in a fucking bucket with it's, not enough dirt. I was, I was going to say that it's because you're not growing Monsanto. I wish Jack Garland would have just been like, I'm, I'm like, did you see my corn? He's like, yeah. I go, you think I'm going to get corn? He's like, if you can keep it wet, maybe. I don't know why he didn't just be like, hey, fool, you're wasting your time. Jack, who grows thousands of acres, the corn motherfucking master. I think that's, uh, I think that's the uh, think, Jeremiah Johnson thing where it's like. I think he did it so he can make fun of me later. Where it's that, yeah, it's that thing where I knew you were doing it all wrong. I knew you were doing it wrong, Pilgrim, all from the start. <laughs> Like they, it, we know that you're fucking up, and we're not going to tell you until after it's fucked up. <laughs> yep, yeah, I think that's what that is. So the corn's all yellow. Um, the tassels they had tassels on there, which means it's making corn, but it just kind of like ceased. It kind of petered out. I might have had too much rain because we did have like months monsoons and shit. Like we had an unusual amount of rain. I was up on the hill Saturday morning getting ready to leave, and I'm like, what is that? Is that cannons? And it, it sounds like boom, boom, and it's fucking thunder. And like I had fed all the the animals, and I was in the uh, under the overhead where the rabbits are, and it just starts fucking pouring rain sideways. Like I'm under the cover, I'm in the shed, and I'm getting wet. I'm like, what the fuck? And so I I give them water real quick. I feed everybody, and I'm by the time I walk out, I'm already kind of wet. I get on the four wheeler drive down to the gate and get to the garage and I, I go to put it in the garage and I'm fucking soaking wet. Like just, I mean, fucking drenched. So we left, I came in, got a shower. We left for the day, got back. It was night. So I didn't really see anything at night. The next morning I go out to feed the animals and the whole, we got so much rain that the topsoil has moved. There's like where rivers were running through. There's like trenches cut and there's like fucking erosion up there now. Just like out of nowhere. I'm pretty, I, I swear it was like sunny when I walked out in the morning and then boom, it's the chemtrails. Chemtrails could be. It's the chemtrails. Or they're seeding the clouds. Well, that's part of the chemtrails. So that it's easy for the lasers. Well, so that the mosquitoes will live better. That's true. That's true. So they can vaccine. You know, we have all, apparently we have all kinds of crazy biblical fucking diseases and shit running around right now that are showing up that have, haven't been seen in a hundred years. That's because they, that's because they've had, they had 35 uh, labs in Ukraine cooking that stuff up for a couple of years. According to RFK. And now, now they have to uh, straight from a Senator's mouth. Uh, 
Armed Forces Committee. The, it was the Armed Forces Committee who came out and said, yes, we have labs in Ukraine. So, interesting. 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 <clears throat> and and uh, Wuhan, China. In Wuhan, China. Yeah, that we paid for the study in Wuhan, China, too. Crazy. It's crazy how that shit works. The globalists are out of control. I, I mean, if that's... if. There's Neo, a point what's where, a neocon? There's a point where we have to eat the rich. What's a neocon? Do you know the definition of neocon? I don't know the de- definition of Because that's what he kept saying. Basically, it's like your war hawks. It's your, you're always voting to, let's, yes, we need to go to war. Yes, you know, massive government infrastructure. That's your neocons. What's the actual definition? A person with neoconservative views? So probably not a tradcon. I don't know what a tradcon is either. Gina's kind of a tradcon. A tradcon? Traditional conservative wife. Uh, maybe, yeah. Maybe. Tradcon. Okay, tradcon. they typically advocate the promotion of democracy and interventionism in inter- international affairs, including peace through strength, and they're known for uh, having disdain for communism and political... Uh, let me, let me, let me, me. I'm a neocon. Let I me rephrase disdain. that for you. They like to go in and take um, where people actually vote. They like to go in and overthrow those governments, and the CIA puts their own people in charge. No. Yeah. I'm a neocon. I have a disdain for commies. That means you, Trudeau. I have a disdain for you because you are a fucking commie. Did you hear Did you hear RFK talking about the history of um, Ukraine? And how the CIA got involved in oh, well, the that's, whole fucking... I mean, that's, nothing, that's nothing how, that you haven't heard. That's how Zelensky became yes. president, was a, yes. a CIA, you know, takeover. Um, I don't think anybody... I, I don't... I, here's, so, the, here's, the problem, here's the problem with the CIA, okay? The reality is the problem... The problem with the CIA and the problem with America in general, we're not... We, we, uh, we tend to look at a problem, like we look at a problem and we're just like, hmm, there's a little chip paint here. We, we should fix that chip paint. We don't, we don't look at the future, right? So we'll throw some paint on here and not realize that it's actually rusted under there. And then the, the whole thing is going to get rusted 10 years down the road. And we're going to have to deal with the fucking bullshit paint we put up here. That's kind of, that's the problem with these, these rogue agencies like the CIA. I think They're never far reaching. I think it's more like, do you see this country right here? Let's tell them there's some chip paint right here. Yeah. And then let's they're, destroy this whole entire fucking country not, so that we can give the contracts to our buddies and we can all make a lot of money on it. I think what happens is, I think what happens is the the paint gets chipped, we put some shit over it, the rust gets underneath the paint, it starts to flake, and then you have a bunch of fucking. Then you have, then you have the globalists go, oh shit, guess what? We're about to make a bunch of money. Let's. You know the contracts. You know the contracts have already been awarded to rebuild Ukraine to yes. rebuild Donbass. Do you know who holds those contracts? The, yeah, the largest company in the world. Yep, BlackRock. Yep. Do you? I had a dude on live feed the other night, and his his handle on YouTube, or maybe it was maybe it was on Instagram, was Tokyo Janitor. And I'm like, <laughs> that's cool. I would go, you better you better be the best janitor. I go, well, I bet you're not Japanese or janitor. He said I was stationed in Japan. Okay. And I was cussing it and like fucking hated it the whole time and i was just i was cleaning shit and paint i go oh bosun's mate i go never again volunteer yourself and it, i just thought it was funny because we were talking about yeah. clean i was just yeah. thinking i'm going i bet you can paint some good metal though yeah i think i think the Polish cia is, brass. i think the cia is great in creating shit storms that uh we have to deal with later did we just they do some shit and they're like cuz there's no way that the there's no way when they overthrow when they when they did their little coup in Ukraine there's no way that they knew that this was going to end up t- to be the biggest war in Europe since World War II. I found it interesting that the 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 people voted for that government that was overthrown, right? That was the that was the one that was voted in. Um and when that was switched over, like 90% of them were Russian speaking apparently. Yes. And then when it was switched when it was switched over, they came in and said, You're not allowed to even speak your language. You have to speak Ukrainian. Ukraine language. Yeah. They they banned it. It was a punishable offense to even speak your I don't, own language. I don't feel sorry for the Russians. Nor do I. But and the, the reason why I say that is because what most people don't understand when they talk about when they go, Oh, but the Russians have been there for fifty years is Stalin yep. was afraid of these Holodomor. Stalin was afraid of these 
communist bloc countries. And so what he did is he uprooted thousands and thousands of Russians and made them move to Poland, made them move to Ukraine, made them move to these places so he would have a standing army in those areas if there was ever an uprising. So, I mean, the reality is that if you're Russian and you live in Ukraine, you're really, you're really Russian or your allegiance should be to Ukraine. And if the Ukrainian government says you have to speak Ukrainian, then you speak Ukrainian. So, I mean, they all, even Zelensky, he speaks Russian. We've they been, all speak Russian. We've been hearing these tanks for the last three years, right? Abrams tanks, Abrams tanks, Abrams tanks. And then I heard that they're just now going to give them Abrams tanks apparently or something. Well, you know, the, the, the thing is they're okay. First off, they are not conducting maneuver warfare at the brigade level. Okay. So us giving them tanks is not going to do them any good. We're they're gonna, out of, they're out of people. The we're Ukrainians going to are see, out of, they're literally rolling up like fucking vans, five guys, 10 guys jump out of these fucking vans and grab a dude walking down and fucking literally there's video of them like smacking the dude in the head, throw him in the van. And apparently well, the, like they're trained, they're giving him like fucking two weeks of training and pushing them out to the front the, lines. The thing that, the thing that is, Okay, an M1 Abrams tank. It's a good tank. It's a it's a it's a pretty badass tank. Yeah, right. But what about the column of fucking vehicles behind it? That's the key. The key is when we're talking about maneuver warfare and we're talking about using M1 tanks, we're talking about personnel, aircraft. It's a it's a combined arms effort, and the Ukrainians are not doing combined arms because either they don't have the either they don't have the capability. Or they don't have the know-how. We have not given them the know-how how to do that. Because if you take... I, I don't care what anybody says. Four Bradley fighting vehicles and four Leopard tanks in broad daylight and drive to where the Russians are, you're going to have four dead Bradley tanks and four dead Leopard tanks. I would think they, that the Russians would know they're coming just the, from, from the, the air problem is, assets. The problem is they're, they're doing... They're, they're not utilizing this equipment correctly. And because they're not utilizing... And, may, and again, sorry, Ukrainians. Maybe I'm not aware of a logistical problem you have. But if you're not moving... If you're not moving these elements at brigade level with brigade support, meaning those vehicles... When, when those initial vehicles went forward to do reconnaissance, it should have been a rolling artillery barrage that they were moving behind. They didn't support those vehicles at all. Those vehicles were just fucking, they were, I mean, unless, without painting a big suicide squad on the front of those vehicles, that's exactly what they used those for. And now, what are the Ukrainians doing? They're moving guys forward in pickup trucks again, and they're sending squads of 12 and 13 into the wood lines to fight Russians in the trenches. So, I mean, if they do not have... And apparently they're not even fighting Russians, they're fighting conscripts. Yeah, they're fighting conscripts because because the way the Russians do it is your that that area that is being contested is it's not the front line. And so they push the conscripts up there so the Ukrainians have to deal with these conscripts where the real troops are in the trenches behind that. And both the conscripts <clears throat> on both sides are told go forward if you come back we'll kill you. So well, they, I don't know, they, I, they just have this fucking yeah. melee. I mean, if, if the if the Russian conscripts tried to come backwards, the Russians would kill the conscripts. Well, the, the problem, I'm not saying it's a problem. It, it, it may be exactly the only thing Ukrainian, Ukraine can do. They have some really badass, um, for a lack of a better term, uh, shock troops. So they have some special forces units uh, that are really badass that go forward, take trenches, Kill fucking Russians like they're they're fucking slaughtering these Russians. Kill these Russians, but because these units are so small, they can't hold the ground. So what happens is these units they they do their mission, they hit the whatever trench line, they take that trench line, and then they pull back. As soon as they pull out, the conscripts are put into those trenches to hold the ground, <coughs> to hold the ground, and so it's. When the Russians do a counteroffensive, they're able to take that ground back because we're both just killing conscripts. We're not really killing. We're not going frontline troops. Um, so it's just, it, it's a uh, the Ukrainians 
for this war, I know there's a, I have some really good friends that are like, oh, the Ukrainians, you know, six months ago, they were like, the Ukrainians already won this war. If the Ukrainians do not have a, a Korea Inchon moment, meaning if they don't have an Inchon moment, and I mean soon, because guess what, guys? Winter is round the damn corner. <laughs> and once that ground gets muddy, those M1 Abrams aren't going to mean shit. If they don't have an Inchon moment, if they can't do a around the end, cut the Russians completely off, uh, brigade or division size movement, this fucking war, this this is a stalemate that's going to go on for another, well, I mean. Till the next winter. Till the next spring, but the question yeah, is. Yeah, but they're going to do the same fucking thing over again. The question is, yeah, but the question is this. Who else gets involved? Do we, do we keep funding it? Remember. Well, I mean, <laughs> who's we? Meaning the United States. Right. Well, if you only United- got, how long is Biden in for? More? Two more years? Yeah, but if the United States stops funding well, no, war wait, in Ukraine, when, it's when, over. When is the election? 24? Yeah, 24. And we're in 23. People, yeah. like, people keep, are we going to have an election? Well, the, the Department of Defense already said we're going to be at war with China in 24. You need the War Powers Act to stop an election. And since for the, la- and since for the last month, Biden has been on vacation the entire time and is getting ready to go on more vacation, the president but does seem is. irrelevant. He is super laser focused. Though. Yeah, super laser focused on going on his next vacation. Are we at civil war? No, we're not at civil war. What are? Where are we? Um, we're at the demoralizing stage. This is the point where your government is attempting to demoralize you to the point where you feel like there's no hope. Civil strife. Civil strife, maybe. I don't right. know. I, I don't even think. Honestly, I don't think we're even there yet. I don't think we're I don't think we're as far down the rabbit hole as people think because again it's comfort. It's it's comfort level. You want a little bit of hope? We're too comfortable. What's a little hope? Let's hear a little hope. Okay, you know you know Jason Aldean's song? Yeah. Small town, right? Yeah. Are you aware of this other guy? Yeah, I saw that. I, I he's all over. Do you know who I'm talking about, Brandon? Yeah. Redhead dude? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Of course you do. Can you look at, can you find his name? Because he's blown up like hotcakes. Okay, so apparently he's been out there for a long time. Yeah. He's, he has seven or eight songs. He's number one on iTunes right now. Rogan spoke about him a week or so ago. Yeah. People started sending me links to it. But the guy's saying, like, really good shit. And the thing, the thing is, this charted and is at the top, and you know, you know what he's saying is right. Because the other side is up in arms over it, the the right has the right has found their new theme song, you know, or whatever, and they're trying to, of course, make it about whatever. Um, he was fat shaming people. My, I shouldn't have to. My money shouldn't go to buy your chocolate rounds or whatever. Um, but you just have you have thousands of people. He was at a farmers market. He he'd been going to this farmers market, right, and it there's like 20 people there there's you know 20 vendors and 100 people show up through the day and now there's fucking 20 miles of cars and people are coming to see him and he's there for you know 10 hours and people agree with what he's fucking saying who is he oliver anthony oliver anthony the the key thing the key thing about oliver anthony the thing that that most people need to key in on uh is you just got to put the work in you got to keep putting the work in and that's like the reality is, and that's kind of his shock right now, is he's been putting the work in, mm-hmm. right? He's been putting the work in. He's been doing his music and just putting the work in. And just that one thing, whatever it was, got him in the algorithm and got him. Now he's famous. And it's like, I, I'm sure that he, I am sure that he's like, I'm the same dude I was yesterday. It's, that's absolutely what he's right? saying. He's like, this isn't a black thing, white thing. Yeah, I'm the same he dude says, I was as yesterday. Yeah, he's so. like, I'm not even a good artist. Yeah. It, he goes, if any, if you get anything from this, I just want you to realize that we're all on, we're the same yeah. side. Like, he, and that's the majority of the people. There's too many people out there. There's too many people out there that are trying hard to be TikTok famous that are are hoping for that one quick thing, right? They're just hoping for that one quick thing instead of just putting in the work in. And if you put the work in, it's just going to happen. There's going to be something so, that's going to happen. So I'm curious about that. Okay, um, your favorite ex-boyfriend. Psh, psh, 
hit you with the psh, psh. did that guy make any money off of that how did how did he make money off of it well he probably sold the song on iTunes okay okay $1. so oh, got it okay got it I get it yeah somebody had said somebody had said something on oh, Tom McDonald and Adam Adam Calhoun if if you like that music you'll love their music also right up church you'll like all those dudes and I heard I heard Adam Calhoun's like man if you can afford it and you like our song buy our, buy our song on iTunes for a dollar that's exact that's probably exactly how it was that's where we make most of our money that's where you guys do yeah. what's the name of your band silent horror say it louder silent, silent horror. horror silent horror i know the fucking name of your band yeah um, you guys Spotify. know Spotify, I, yeah, Tess said the same thing. Shit. So your money comes from iTunes. All from iTunes. I think I, I, I remember Rob saying something about that too. Um, you might not be aware. Well, I mean, if but Silent Horror is going to be playing in Germany, much Romstam, like much like David Hasselhoff, Romstein, Germany, Romstein, October thirty first, I believe, Halloween in Germany. Get your tickets now. You want to be there because it's going to be off the chain. Putin, train. tear down this wall. That's right. It's going to be off the chain. I'm going to be driving the bus, so you know it's going to be off the chain. Uh, it's going to be a good time. Make sure you get those tickets. And, it, uh, around and it's not Germany. as hot in the parking garage. It's not as hot in that parking garage. Oh, there'll be there'll be some throwing up for sure because it's going to be off the chain. Um, Silent Horror, Ramstam, Germany, October 31st. Have you uh, ever tasted? Have you ever tasted alcohol? You've never had any what? alcohol. No. You didn't know that? No, I didn't know that. Fucking straight what edge. F- what? He's I, got it. He has it tattooed on his forehead. I feel, I feel like he needs to cover up two of those tattoos. Which two? I don't know, but the one that says I mean, "mom." Yeah, the, it's like you're, you're. What would you call? What do you call that? He is a, a the painted man. That's what they call me, though. I have many tattoos. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, come yeah, on. They're nobody, doing they're no, doing some hey, mighty fine fucking work in nobody, prison. Nobody see Wait, there's nobody that sees you and goes, "Oh, he's a family man." Nobody nobody sees that. Even with the, even with your your forehead, t- nobody sees nobody sees you walking down the street and goes, "I bet he just needs a hug." No, but I'll bet no. there's Uh-uh. Nobody. They they look at you and go, "That motherfucker's going to stab me." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, on his, I on his electric bicycle I and his you, moped. Every, I guarantee you, all the ladies, all the ladies are like, they're scrunching up their purse, they're holding it up tight. They put an extra hand on it. No, they're like, look they're at this thinking, guy. They're thinking, mm, I want to suck his dick off, off like gone. Has no more dick. Yeah, that's all the crackheads. No, yeah, no. All the crack well, that I mean, that's heads. what's in his town. But I mean, th- let's just be clear. Let's hey, just be clear. you do if realize a, you if, do realize his town's like a hundred times bigger than our town. I get it, I get it. But I, I, if I was, let's say, I was in the uh, the Hell's Angels, he is right. Let's say I was in the Hell's Angels. Gotcha. I, I was in the Hell's Angels, and He's I was in the looking Vespa for, version, and I was looking for a hot recruit. I mean, I would I, if I saw you, I'd be like. Oh shit! He's already got to be patched up. Look at him. What's that? What's well, that hey, TV what, show? Who's your club? Sons of Anarchy. Yeah. yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, I could see you wearing a SOE patch. Do you? Uh, do they sell Sons of Anarchy stuff at Walmart? I don't think so anymore. Not anymore. So, yeah, SA, Sons of An- SOA. It was yes. SOA. Yeah. Not so anymore. my boy sent me a shirt. I think I forwarded it's the Mayans it. Now. I forwarded it to you, and uh, I'm like, mm, it's a little busy. Remove the the flag. He came in the other day. He's like. Yeah, I wasn't sure about that. I go, it just looks too tap out. It it looks like it looks like some it it looks like some shit they sell at Walmart. I go, I like the concept. We just need to do something different. There's too much. There was just too much going on. There's way too many colors. It looks like Orange fucking looks like a Rorschach test. Yeah, yeah, it looks like an OCC shirt. That's exactly what it looked like. <laughs> so we did round logo, round logo. Yours is right there. Yours is over there. Red, white, and blue. What are you looking at? Oh, just a, a reminder. What are you being reminded of? Um, snackle boxes? No, snackle boxes. You know where you get snackle boxes? From your wife? No, Cabela's. And if you're in Bristol, Tennessee, and you need to get a snackle box, go to Cabela's. But if you want to buy a gun... Wait a minute, wait a minute. Where is to, Bristol, Tennessee? It's... it's On the way to, on the way on to the way Georgia? To, it's 
It's that yeah, one. Just past me. That it's, big one. Didn't they close? That's closed. No, that Cabela is still open, and the firearms counter is awesome. Those guys do great work It's on there. the right-hand side, and by the time you see it, there was no signage that says, hey, take this exit. So I by know. the time you see it, you blaze right. You got to go 10 more fucking miles. That's, so You know why I've never been there? That's why. Well, again, the firearms counter We go past awesome. it on the way to Blade to Show. To, need, do we go past it on the yes, way to Blade Show? Yes, because I'm always like, let's stop. And Amanda's like, there's four cars following us. Yeah. Bristol is... But anyways, Bristol, like Cabela's. Speaking, go there. Speaking Bye of Blade go. Show, are you aware that USN Show is coming up in a couple of weeks here? We're not going to it. Do you want to go? Not really. And they were excited when they, I'm like, Amanda's like, when is it? Are you guys coming out? Are you coming out? Do you want to come? I'm like, are you flying us out on your plane? Who was excited? Mar- well, Marissa and oh, Josh. And really? I, you know, I bought a swordfish. At Blade Show? Mm-mm. Oh, where? Um, at a, just a swordfish place. Swordfish place. So I got the sword. A big one? No, it's a it's a fight. It's not even a real one. It's like they don't really do real swordfish. No, they fish fiberglass. Anymore. They fiberglass. But I'm going them. somewhere with this. Okay. <clears throat> so I put the picture up, and I we've been do, going back just doing this, some antique shit, and I'll take twenty pictures and it goes, you know, and scroll through. And some of them I'm like, I can't even see that myself. They're never going to see this, but somebody will pick it out, and they're like, oh. That's a cool hat or whatever. So Josh hits me up and he's like, hey, you didn't buy that swordfish, did you? And I go, I did. It's, it's, a sm- it's small. It's not real. It was only 200 bucks. He's like, and he sends me a picture of these fucking like, do you remember like at Fisherman's War for the uh-huh. big, like the old time pictures where they'd have these just enormous fucking sharks and fish hanging up? Yeah. Like the gallows. He sends me these pictures and I can see a bunch of swordfish behind these two swordfish and they're hanging like from where I go, where is that? He goes, that's my shop, Josh. And I'm like, what are you talking about? He goes, my dad, my family owned one of the biggest taxidermy companies in California. And he said, that's my warehouse. Cause I knew he had dinosaurs, right? He's got like real fossils, like museums rent them to make casts and shit off of them and movies rent them from him and stuff. And he's like, I want you to have one of these. I've got one already crated up. I'll send you one. And I'm like, he goes, I want you to have a real, he goes, we were one of the only companies that would take the skin off the actual fish and we would use the, the real fin, the real tail and the real bill and build them on plaster molds. He's like, I have 12 of them and I'll mail. I want you to have a real one in your collection. I'm like, man, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. And then he sent me these other pictures and he sends me, I go, can I have the shark? Like he sent me a picture of a fucking great white and there's a man standing next to it. And the man is like tiny. That was his, that was Josh's dad. And then there's another picture and it's from the seventies and it's fucking Josh right there. And I'm like, Holy shit, Josh with a mullet and like long ass hair and shit. Dude, this shark was fucking enormous. Like I wouldn't have anywhere. We'd have to put it in here. I don't know where we'd put it. That just, the, the yeah, we'd have to cut the. This would just be the shark building, the shark room. So Jade, uh, when you we you said in a video you had speak because we're talking about the same guys. So you don't if yeah. you, if you're not aware how we jump from Strider and Josh to Jade, uh, we know Jade probably because of Strider. Yeah. Um, and he's he's just a a, a dear friend. Um, but when you said. What did he? What was in the short about the the eighties were so much better than the current times? Bitchiner, bitchiner. They were bitchiner. Bitchiner, way bitchiner. So Jade's like, I already copyrighted that. I trademarked it. But he he'd hit Amanda up about something, and um, because she said, Hey, what hotel are you staying at? Because we're sending some some zipper knife pouches over to for the, one of the shows. And he's like, Are you guys coming out? And she's like, Man, we can't get out of here for like eight hours. Much we definitely can't get out of here for three days. And he's like, I'm gonna come in. I'm just gonna come through, and I want to come in and do podcasts with the guys. So we'll see Jade pretty soon. We'll oh, that'd be together. cool. Yeah, we it'll could be get awesome. Him out here. Yeah. So I hope he brings uh, a 41 Magnum. I bet he's got it on his ankle. I mean, I wouldn't surprise me. It'd look neat right next to your judge. Yeah. yeah. So no, no, no. I just no. looked down at mine. Yeah. You you would feel inadequate if Jade shows up with his forty one Magnum. Is Jade the forty one Magnum guy? He is the forty one Magnum guy. Like every, I don't even think of any like. I don't think when I see forty one Magnum anything, I'm like I should get that for Jade. I if, never do. If Jade, you were I'm like, sorry, but or if you were like, um, who's the who's the guy that has the most weird revolvers? I'd be like, oh Sherman House, definitely. 
and then Jade's like the 41 Magnum guy. Yeah. Are all 41 Magnums revolvers? Yes. There's not a 41 Magnum auto mag? Jade would be the guy to answer Is that. Is there a 41 Magnum a... Desert Eagle? No, there's no way. There's. It was a 41 Action Express. It was different. It was hmm. different. So, and which they don't make anymore. I don't believe they do. Uh, but, yeah, Jade would be the answer to that Do you know question. who the 500 Smith & Wesson guy is? Uh, who's that? Smiley. Smiley? Yeah, Smiley. I wa- he was sitting on my couch. He was sitting on the couch in the we, old Smiley shop. Needs, we need to get Smiley back here. Oh, for sure. We need to... Uh, we were, he came to a class at TAC Response, and we used to go eat at this place called Lepanto's, and they had, like, these picnic tables on the side room. So we go in there, and we show up just for lunch, and the whole class is there, but there's this one dude, and he's just off by himself, and he doesn't really make eye contact. He kind of grunts. So he's an enormous man. I just made it a point to get up and put my plate in for, like, jail. We did, like, the jailhouse. This is my table, because he was at the table by himself. And uh, I'm like, I just want to be friends, <laughs> so don't eat me. Um, I realize you're hungry. As he's sitting there with three plates from the buffet, and I'm like, so I'm just going to sit here, and when you're ready to talk, we'll talk. <laughs> and he kind of like, okay. And then we, like, we just started talking. And after talking to him for a while, I don't know if it was the first day I met him, but he's like, the first time I went to jail, I'm like, the first time you went to jail? I'm like, I think we can be friends. <laughs> We went to dinner one time. He was here in town because, uh, you know, the railroad puts him up in a hotel and then they, I don't know what they do, railroad shit. And we, John's like, hey, we're going to go pick up Smiley and take him to dinner. So we go pick up Smiley to take him to dinner. And we, so, you know, you know when somebody's a real drinker, like a real drinker, and they have beer cans and shit in the passenger side of their vehicle – and they open the door, <laughs> and beer cans and all that shit falls out, yes, right? Like that, yes. that whole ching ching on the ground. So, John, we take Smiley, to, we take Smiley to dinner and shit, and uh, we come back, and he's all comfy in the front seat and shit, and he gets out of the, he gets out of John's truck to go to the hotel, and like four guns fall out onto the ground, ching ching ching. He's like, "Oh, those are my spares," and they have distinct <laughs> sounds too. You know when you listen to a rap song and they're like, "My my Glock, my Glock G Lock," and they you hear it rack, and you're like, "That's a USP. That's not even a fucking Glock." Like they have just and Eric's guns falling on the ground have distinct sounds distinct sound, like yeah. when when it, this happened he was he was asleep some so when you work for the train the train times out and the crew has to get off and they typically have areas where the train's going to time out at and the crew gets off and another crew gets on or the train sits there for a while and they typically put those guys they have contracts with hotels so he would be here for i, I think it's 10 hours right so they'd be here timed out so I would go pick him up and bring him to the shop. It, typically, he, it, at, at a certain time, they were always stopping in the middle of the day or in the morning. So when I'd, I'd be like, hey, are you in town? I'll come pick you up. Because he might as well hang out here rather than hang out at the fucking hotel. So that's why he was around. But he had actually parked someplace to sleep because he, it, it wasn't, he was living, he lives far enough away from wherever his main headquarters in the Nashville area for the train is. And it's like, a two hour drive or whatever, but he had to, he just had some time. So he's like, I'm just going to take a nap. So he's in a parking garage taking a nap and female cop. And she like, what are you doing? He's like, I'm, I'm taking a nap. Um, I got to go back to work. She's, she's like, are those guns? He's like, yeah. How many guns are there? He's like, I don't know. And he legitimately did not know. Yeah. So they, they made a big fucking deal about it. And all his shit's all legal, though, and yeah. everything. So, But, like, you would open a door. Like, when I – Eric came for training at one time, and I'd walked out to his Toyota and looked, and I go, what the fuck are you doing? He, it literally looked like if you emptied out four gun safes – and just set them in your front seat and then put a seat belt around all your rifles. It was like that. Like it, I've seen Eric open the door and like two AKs fall out of the fucking There was a time. So you know, you know I own some guns. Yes. Right? And I and I like I like the I like the exotic uh, within reason. I can't afford a Mark Mark 11. So What is the Mark 11? That's the the uh, intermediate uh But in real man terms, what's the other name for it? Uh, SR25. Okay. Yeah. So, 
I mean, I, I have some exotics, you know, because back in the day, you used to be able to buy them for cheap. And there was a, a time where Eric would send me a picture of a gun, and then I'd be like, ha-ha, <coughs> I got you. And then every time he'd be like, Oh, you're cute. And he would send like a pile of the, it was just like, I'd be like, God damn it, Eric. Why are you, why are you, where do you get all these guns? How do you, how can you afford it? Makes me want to work for the railroad. Cause they got so I don't, those guys. Good I don't know his situation now, but he's, <laughs> he's married and they, oh, man. there's kids and stuff. Oh, there. Hey Eric, if you have to sell those guns, cause you're married now. He had a, he was, I, I think he was living in like a, <clears throat> a mobile home at one time and you had to walk sideways to get down the hallway because it was all ammo cans and the fucking like the hallway like literally i remember somebody talking about that we were here we were here i don't know if it was halloween or i can't remember what it was it was some party that he showed up at and we were talking about something everybody was out back shooting it was dark he showed up late because it was already dark and i think they i think it was when uh eli no when what's the name of that red jacket came with all the Mm -hmm, all the belt feds all the belt feds and so I think we were talking about it, and he's like, I got one in my truck. <laughs> and I'm like, what? He's like, yeah, there's one in my truck. I'm like, where's your truck? Oh, it's out, parked across the street. <laughs> I'm going to go get it. And so he comes, he comes, and he pulls this thing out of his, he pulls this belt fed out of his truck. It had a stock on it, didn't yeah. it? He pulls this belt fed out of the truck, and he's like, he's like, where? Well, there was, there was ammo back here somewhere. There was a belt of ammo there was and he so he puts the thing on the ground and runs back and the ammo had fallen on the ground. <laughs> was it wasn't it like a PKM or something? It, it, it was a it was a, <clears throat> a Yugoslavian version of the PK it was it was a again a, a I'm a, I'm into guns. I had never seen this before. I'm like what the fuck is that? Where did you Where did you get? And he's like, "Oh, you just you find him." <laughs> okay, so it's Christmas Eve. And Justin Souders, I'm like, what are you doing? He's like, nothing. Because normally he goes like to his, his parents in Bowling Green or whatever. I'm like, okay, you're coming over for Christmas. And Eli's there, and Smiley shows up. And everybody's just in the living room, right? So when I wake up in the morning, and I don't, I don't, it wasn't like this when I went to bed. But when I woke up in the morning, they're all in the living room in sleeping bags and poncho liners and there's a bunch of fucking belt fed machine guns laying there. I don't I didn't even know they had them. I don't even know whose they were. I mean, I I'm I'm sure whose they were, but I didn't know they were in the living room and when we woke up in the morning, they were all and they're all snuggled up just like like dick to ass every one of them. I th I have pictures of it somewhere. Good times, good times. Yep. Good yeah. dudes, good, good dudes. Good times. So you don't think we're in civil war. You're not sure we're in civil strife. Yeah. I don't so think you so. don't think we're, we're in quite we're to the situation of like a, um, a bloody Kansas. No, not yet. Are you aware of what that is? Yeah. But we're not, I don't think we're there yet. Okay. So we didn't think we were there then either. We didn't no, think that no. that was bloody part Bill. of. You had, you, you actually had people, <laughs> you actually had people that got their nicknames during. <laughs> okay. You bloody seem Kansas. to know a little more bloody about Bill. it than I do. So, you know, so tell uh, everybody what uh, bloody Kansas is. Uh, uh, that's where, uh, it's Kansas and Jayhawkers and, uh, I can't think of the name of the, uh, basically this is pre-Civil War. Yep. But, it, so, but when we talk about it, it's part of yeah, Civil War. And they, it, they, basically what was happening was Jayhawkers were, were going across the border and attempting to civilize the people on the other side of the border. And so it created this border war. Which one of them wanted slaves? Uh, here's the truth. The truth is these are all poor people. They didn't, so have, didn't any have any slaves. slaves. They didn't have no slaves. This wasn't a, this wasn't a slave issue. It was just, it was just like, uh, well, it was like a hat, hat, cliff and McCoy's really. It was just two groups of people that were like fighting each other. Guerrilla warfare style. Um, and that's where you get, uh, God, what is his name? Um, <clears throat> Josie Wales, uh, that's where you get, Billy uh, the kid? no, it's, uh, the, Josie Wales was part of that unit that where, where bloody bill, where bloody bill was in and God, what's the other guy's name? He's the one that really started all that shit. But, uh, anyways, it was more of just 
people fighting over weird people fighting over sh- it was it was more honor fighting that was going on and the federal government really wasn't involved in any of it they were just kind of letting it happen okay so here's what i heard about it and <coughs> i didn't i couldn't have even told i didn't even know bloody kansas until this morning when i heard tim pool talking about it <coughs> and what what is going on i haven't had enough these are these aren't open you, that's the problem yeah, you probably need another this one. elixir right here i wouldn't be coughing if i would drink it how many can i have no, you can't have 10. ten. We just said we just said only when you're going to work out. This is workout. Not really. Do I not look like I work out? You just said do I not look like I work out? You're not getting ready to work out. I'm after the answer that I want. Okay, you can drink it. Okay. Have it. All right. Drink it up. Okay. You can have this one too. I know. I Speedball. Have more. I'm going to get it. I'm going to have a fridge put in. Right here. Yep. Do they have any other flavors? Oh, they have all the flavors. You know they make a product called MRE? Oh, that's got to be delicious. Would you like an MRE sponsor? That's a trick question because you just said they have a product called MRE. Would I like an MRE sponsor? I know you. There'll probably be a case of real MREs here. Is it good? Yeah, it's fucking so good. Yeah. Mm, God, my dick just got hard. Easily, please. No. Uh-uh. Because I, I can't, I can't, I'll be bouncing off the walls. I've seen him. It's probably, <clears throat> this is probably. Dude, I was somewhere yesterday. Where was I? Where I saw Super Beats. Walmart. No, no. Some place where it should not have been. Some place where I shouldn't have been. Co-op? No, worst way. No, co- I'm, I'm, I am supposed to be at the co-op. Co-op, yeah. Tractor Supply. Tractor Supply. But I so I had this conversation in my head earlier. Yeah. Total War. Are you aware they have MRE? They have a meal replacement. It's like a me it's a whole I, I think I have not used MRE. But I know Aaron uses MRE, which is the owner of the company. I know Rob Bailey uses MRE. Um I thought it was like a protein powder, but I think it's a meal kind of powder. But So I, it's a powder. Well, I mean you can make it into like no, no, I cookies agree. and no. loaves of bread and shit. Can you? Yeah, you can, you can take any of that stuff and cook it into things. Hmm. But I was thinking, how cool would it be if you had an actual MRE sponsor? I mean, it would be cool, but... We'd end up with a lot of MREs really it's a, But the problem is that MREs are... Uh, it's typical government sprinkle. So, you know, crackers are made over here and stews made over there, and then it's all packaged at some place. So I don't, I don't know if there would be... Maybe the, maybe the company who packages them... Uh, no, I can get you an MR. You want an MRE sponsor? Yeah, we want an MRE sponsor. Why not? Hey, who, okay, I guarantee somebody listening right now. Come on, is like, we're gonna we're gonna be doing patrolling out here. We need MREs. We actually are doing patrolling. Yeah. Have you talked? I have you, not talked to him. You want to be out for for real? Yeah, I'll put on my Chicom uniform. You raise should, my Russian. You flag. should go back into your Seer School days and be one of the characters. I uh, I will character. I will. They'll be, you don't want, you're going to hear, you're going to hear your, uh, you're going to, what, what's the, what's the festival? Self-reliance. Self-reliance. Festival. Yeah. Self-reliance. Every, every hour at <laughs> self-reliance, one of you is going to get snatched out of the public uh, arena and taken in the jungle and tortured. Cause that's just the way it, we're going to do it we're this gonna year. We're going to bait you with a snackle box. Something, a snackle box. You don't know if you're going to see a piece of candy on the ground and before you know it, you're going to be in a large box. You better keep them fish hooks up in your butthole in case you got to catch yeah. fish. So, self reliance. Did they have you put anything in your butthole during Sears school? No, you don't put anything in your butthole. Not what I, that's not what I heard. What, what that if guy they, went to the wrong <laughs> Sears school. <laughs> what if they? What if they take your belt off that has the hidden zipper with all your fish hooks? You know, it, that's. I'll, an, I'll bet you. I'll bet you, Ed Calderon. I'll bet you he's got a class that's where a, they put things in their butthole. That's an interesting thing when you say that. You know the the. The SAS guys, they had gold coins, gold coins, and some other stuff in their in their belt. And I don't know if you remember the first Gulf War when those SAS guys had to f- fucking flee all over. There was a group of SAS guys that had to flee. Sorry, I can't remember the book, but one of them was out for a long time, got injured, finally got captured, <laughs> and made it all the way to the hospital before before the Iraqis were like, "Let me see that belt." <laughs> So y- y- but you don't just, know. That's not on typical Iraqi radar. Either. You, you don't know. Uh, 
Well, usually, usually, you want to take their shoelaces, their belts. You want to take things that they can either use as a weapon or kill themselves with. Uh, so, I don't know. It's just weird. Yeah. That you could, you, you don't know that thing that you've, that thing that you've hidden on your body. You don't know at what point it's going to disappear or how long you're going to keep it. It's like in world war two, the reason why those maps were made out of silk is because that you could put it in your, you could put it in your clothing. And so when you got a pat down, it just felt like clothing. Not and so you, you, so you would be able to get these maps into the, into the camps and, attempt your uh escape on your german motorcycle where you're jumping fences you hear guys say you know i wear a rolex because i can bribe border guards and stuff i think i've heard jack carr say that i know i've heard glover say that i've heard people um i've not been in a situation where i have to bribe a, a border guard but every time we went to tijuana we always got fucking rousted up and if you had a rolex on they were definitely taking that motherfucker yeah but they would also, if you didn't have a Rolex on, they would take ten dollars just the same. Same, yeah, yeah. So I don't, I don't know about the Rolex. Rolex, yeah. I, I mean, maybe I, they're doing more ninja shit, but gold coin in the gold coin in the shoe—that's the best, better way to go. Yeah, and you can do tenth ounce gold coins. I yeah. mean, that way you have little smaller denominations or whatever. So you are doing op four. I don't know. I we haven't. I haven't talked to the guy. Maybe he, maybe he doesn't want me snatching dudes out of his patrol. He's a Marine. He'll be fine with you doing it. I don't know. You never know. Sometimes Marines are a little weird Plus about stuff like that. You're his senior. Am I? You're older than he is. That don't mean anything. He could have retired a fucking... No. I guarantee you I, I ranked him. I'm probably not. I don't know. Who knows? I don't want to... I think, wanna, I think I don't he wanna, has a... I think he has a tattoo of you. I don't want to uh, ruin anybody's Kool-Aid. No. You're going you to have to. Hey, speaking of ruining Kool-Aid... Because he's going to come out and, and walk on your pigs. I'm all for it. Yeah. Are we going to get pigs out here? Like, dude, that's like the number one asked question that I get asked. You got, when, yeah. are you, when are you doing the sniper You guys class? aren't ready. You guys aren't ready for that. You're just not ready for that. Even if I'm, even if I am 100% politically correct and nice to you, you're just not ready for the, the demoralization. That's going to be me pulling you out of the fucking tree and telling you, get the fuck back to the starting. Why don't you do a hell week? There, Cause again, that, who who wants to do a hell week? Could you do a two day hell week? Yeah, you could. Could you get them to the point of writing letters? Not not in two days. Tell them about you uh, need three. You need you need uh, you really need about four days of no sleep, and then and then Brandel will tell me all his intimate secrets. He'll tell he'll tell me everything I want to know, like his mom's phone number and. No, I don't know it either anymore. Yeah, you you'll tell me. You'll make you'll it tell up. Me. You'll what, be, what's you'll some tell of the weirdest shit people have told you? Like that they like that they definitely didn't want out there. Uh, uh, we had a we had an individual who, um, which is the first time I've ever seen that. But uh, we had an individual who was very who turned out to be very racist, and he <laughs> he told us his whole. His whole life's journey before he joined the Marine Corps. This is the individual that we had the the uh, the Humvee driver save his life. <laughs> oh shit! But anyways, yeah. So the people will tell you when they're when they're fucking. That, that's the thing where it was a black guy saved his life, wasn't yes. it? Yes. Yeah. yeah. That's the that's they had to get butt naked. Yep. Yeah. That's the thing about uh, he was hyped out he was hypothermia. Hy- hypothermia. So that's the thing about when when people talk about enhanced interrogation and they're like. It doesn't enhanced interrogation doesn't work. You don't get it true information. That's bullshit. What is enhanced? Like, were we talking waterboarding? That's uh, not or enhanced interrogation is really anything that anything that is allowed to be. So when, when they talk about waterboarding or they talk about sleep deprivation, positional uh, positional shock and things, that's all seer school techniques, and that is that is the minimal amount of stuff you can do where you're not really torturing anybody. You're not, it's not the, it's not the drowning. Waterboard is not about drowning. It's about heightening your fear of drowning. It's you understanding that you can't breathe and you're going to fucking drown, even though you're not going to drown. It's a trip when, like, because waterboarding, I always knew what waterboarding was ever since I've been doing this stuff just because of the guys. Yeah. 
but it wasn't a problem until like Abu Grave or whatever. Yeah. Right? We waterboarded Cody's mother yep. in the garage like multiple times. Like Lance waterboarded me. Yeah. Like we had a, we just used the two liter bottles of water and we had an M17 gas mask and a rag. Um, I mean, it's not comfortable. Yeah. But it, it's not like, it, it's like you just, you know that you're not going to die from it once that's. But that's the same thing with uh, like sleep deprivation. Um, <clears throat> it just lowers, it just lowers your, your, defensive posture so if i'm if i'm you know if i just get captured or whatever and i'm like fuck you guys i'm not telling you shit and i can i can keep you up for four days uh and that's just by using random time slots so the key is the key is so that you never know what time it is so meaning I'm feeding you breakfast or I'm feeding you lunch and I'm not doing it at real, real intervals. So you can't understand what time it is because a lot of people, you know, cause you want to try and figure out how many hours have I been here? Mm -hmm. Right. And if I can get you to forget, if I can for get you to forget how much time you've actually been a captive, then you're going to start, you're going to start telling me things that are just clues. Right. And so I may like, so, for example, Brandle. Keep him up for five days. And then what I'm going to do is I'm not going to, I don't have to do enhanced interrogation. I'm just going to be like, Brandle, um, tell me everything there, tell me everything you know about that camera. Everything that you know about that. How does that camera work? Okay. Now, in his head, he's like, in his head, he's like, well, there's nothing. I can tell him everything about the camera. There's nothing, there's no, there's no information there. There's no information gained that he cannot get from the internet, uh, right? Nothing, I can get on my secret. And so he's going to start going deep into the camera. He's going to start talking about how the camera works, how you take pictures, and he's going to start doing that. And while he's doing that, I'm going to, while he's doing that, I'm going to be like, how many brothers and sisters do you have? And he's going to be talking about the camera and he's going to be like, I have one brother and one sister, my brother's in jail. He's going to tell me this information, even though he doesn't know he's telling me this. And so you can get all this information. And the, the cool thing about uh, the cool thing, the interesting thing about gaining this information from him is because of the way we're sussing, the, just because of the way we're getting the information, he doesn't realize that he's told us all this shit. So I let him go. I let him go for a couple days sleep, right? He goes to sleep. He's fine. Now, when we He's, say we've sleep, sleep deprived him for five days, what does that actually look like? Is somebody physically in front of him? Well, what, when he starts to doze off, he gets shocked with a cattle no, prod. No, no, I no. Mean, so the so the way it is, so the way it is in Hell Week is, um, it's constant movement. So you you have to get from point A to point B to point A to point B. So they are constantly moving. Got it. So can they take? Can they? Take cat naps? Yes, they can take cat naps. Can they eat food? Yes, they can have their girlfriends drop pizza on the corner. But it's not enough. It can't sustain because we do it for so long and so much time. And then we keep them in the classroom for uh, 12 hours with the heat on. Uh, do you guys, do girlfriends actually bring Oh, yeah. Pizza? People do all kinds of crazy shit. I mean, all kinds. You'll, you'll, catch, you'll catch dudes in the dumpster behind the chow hall. Okay. Because they're trying to get food. Um, so he'll get his sleep you know we'll be done and he'll get his sleep and he'll be fine and then we'll call him in the office and we'll be like hey we talked to your brother he's going to be here for graduation and he's going to be like how the fuck do you know who my brother is and there's no way he's coming for graduation and we'll be like yeah your brother who is currently at you know wherever We'll just start giving him all the information that he already gave us, and he won't know where that fucking information came. And a lot of times, if I have a piece, yep. like if I have a piece, yep. if I have like your brother's name and your, and I'll be like, you know, your brother, he lives over at, and at that point, because I've ar I already have all this information, he's going to give me missing information because he thinks I already know it. It's it's pretty it's pretty intriguing. Like the, when you when you think about the type of inter like they, I get it. Uh, we contracted out a lot of that stuff during GWAT, and 
there were people who were doing enhanced interrogation that were not real interrogators. So they didn't understand how any of that worked. So it, 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 maybe it did just turn into a torture session, but the reality is if you use it right, you don't really have to physically harm anybody and they will give you the information you want. What if you gave them LSD? Wouldn't they give you more information? Uh, the problem is LSD creates a LSD creates something that's not real. And because it creates mm, something that's not right. real, you might not get you might not get real information. Surely there's something I just they just fucking so sodium pentothal. But I mean I'm sure they have stuff so far beyond that. I mean like coming out of surgery, you're apt to say things when you come out of anesthesia. Mm-hmm. You are very apt to say things that you would not normally say. But again, you don't know if you're if it's a if it's a drug and that, that's the problem and that's why <clears throat> that's why when you hear about uh you know well after GWAT and everybody was talking about enhanced interrogation um that's why you heard about all enhanced interrogation you didn't hear anybody talking about any type of drugs because the problem with drugs is you don't know if the information is relevant right yeah. you don't know like uh, when i had my knee surgery i came out when i was coming out of my knee surgery they said I kept talking about balloons. And that's why your wife will never fucking be back there when you're coming out until <laughs> I they kept... move you to the recovery room. You will never have a family yeah. member or any, any of your relatives back there. That's part of it. Jack Carr actually wrote about yeah. that in one of his books. So I kept talking about balloons. So <clears throat> the relevance of that, who knows? So you don't. you just don't know if that information is going to be correct because it's drug-induced. Where if I get him... To give me, compliantly give me the information, it's more likely to be true. Especially if it's, especially if it's, if he is, uh, if he's concentrating on something else that's not what I'm talking about. So, it, it I mean, every class, every class, we get people, mom's phone numbers, fucking sisters. So is this what your stocking class is going to be? No, no, no. That's just, you said hell week. Okay. That's hell week. So I thought, you know, when you're driving down the 70 uh-huh. or when you're driving on the bypass on the way to the six over to the interstate, right? You know how they have those power lines right there that are just mowed down? Yeah. That'd that's be a per- fucking the perfect place. Power lines. Uh, the power lines here are perfect for, would be perfect for that. And that, and if, if we were in, uh, if, if we were at Quantico, they use power lines as stock lanes because it gives you a, it gives you a, a predetermined lane that you have to move down and they're usually pretty clean on base though. Yeah. On base. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you're not going to have like the state troopers show up. And no, shit. no, you're not going to have state troopers show up, but we, I mean, they, they will tell you there's a couple, there's a couple of, uh, there was a couple of stocks that we did in, in Quantico where they, where they're like, if you see a road, get away from the road because a motherfucker around here will shoot you. Yeah. <laughs> They'd be looking for Sasquatch, and you look like Sasquatch, so get the fuck away from roads. <laughs> All right. I got to pee. All right. Got to pee. Wow, we're an hour 42, and I haven't even peed yet. What are we talking about? Uh, what we were talking about is- uh, When you were in jail? Are we to the point of civil war? No, we're not to the point of civil war. We're not there yet. We're too, but, com- we're but, too comfortable. But in, in 50 years, when they're talking about the second, war, the second civil war, the are second they going civil- to count these years as the beginning of the civil war? I mean- uh, no, I don't think so. Okay, what if what if Trump does self surrender? When they put right? Trump in when they put Trump in jail, is that when we worry? <laughs> Maybe that might be when it starts. Because because you have a lot of people <laughs> saying that's when that is that's when the shots start, right? That's yeah. when the shooting happens. And when they're taking these polls on both sides, apparently that are like, do you think we are going to have a civil war? Do you think we're in civil war? And the number the polling numbers are coming back that we're in fucking civil war right now. Both sides. Yeah, but no. I th- I think, and I, I say this because I'm consuming a lot of content by people that I, I you know, trust somewhat. And they think that, that, the, that the liberals, for instance, or the other side, want this side to act. Yes. And that's I, so I, that they the, can the, everything suspend that, the... Everything that they have been doing with Trump is about a reaction from the right. And we have not been giving them the reaction that they want. And because we haven't been doing it, that's why they keep upping the ante. They keep upping the ante. But I think the I think the mix is going to be 2024, that the, that the, that 
all this shit with Trump is going to fall through. Okay, it's it's all going to fall through, and you now you're gonna ha- you're gonna have a race of between Biden and Trump. Biden can't. <laughs> Biden can't even last that long. Biden can't. He can't pull. He can't pull through with that. He's not going to. I mean, outside of the same thing they did last time was stolen an election. Um, he can't pull through with it. So again, they keep talking about 2024 as the year we go to war with China. If we go to war with China, it'll be a real war, and then they can use the War Powers Act to shut down the election, and then they, we don't have to worry about Trump. It's almost as though they're still acting like they follow the law. It's it's they want the they what want would the, what would the outcome what would the difference be by using want, the War Powers Act vice just being like okay you have no more Second Amendment because they want a perceived leak they want it to per, they want it they want to perceive that they they want people to perceive that they are doing things right. Do you think if they've said okay war with China War Powers Act. Well, I mean, it's not going to be like that. It's going to be... We're suspending the Second Amendment. You all have to turn in your stuff. What do you think is going to fucking happen? Well, they're not going to... That's... It's... What is going to happen? It's, how, how does it's it, very it antiquated. It's very antiquated the way you're... They don't have to do all that stuff. Okay? They don't have to do all that stuff. All they have to do is start a war with China. China takes... China doesn't have... The, the reality is China does not have the capability... Sorry to go toe-to-toe with the current U.S. military strength. But they do have enough capability to punch us in the nose. Punch us in the nose real hard. So we already have, we, we already have in place battle plans where the Chinese take out two American carrier groups. Yes. So what, what does that have to do with? Again, we go to war with China. We take out a, they take out, let's say they take out a carrier group. Right, one carrier. There's five thousand. There's five thousand Americans at the bottom of the ocean. Okay, that's just the carrier. That's not all the support equipment. So if the Chinese were able to get the upper hand, right, you create, you create fervor around defeating the Chinese, right? Right. And so it's all about getting people in arms to fight the Chinese. Who is going to sign up? For the fucking Marine Corps and the right. Army not, and the Air Force, not the liberals, not the liberals. So again, you take you take your problem and you send it into the Pacific. So you you get you get your you know able bodied males that are the problems. You send them to the Pacific to fight China. Now you have all these, uh, you know, not so much males here in the United States. And, all, and now all they have to do is what I've always said they always have to do. Hey, for service of country, we need your pots and pans. We need your guns to fight the Chinese. And you go, nah, I'm not giving you my guns. Fuck off. I don't, I, again, I don't need to send, you know, 10 Karens to your house to get your guns. I just turn you off. Because I've already instituted, I've already instituted national payment through the Federal Reserve, so no one's getting regular money anymore. Everybody's getting it through their account. So I just have to turn your life off. Did you see that uh, people woke up in Australia the other day, and the four major banks, the largest major banks, said no more cash. We're we're phasing cash out, so you're only able to withdraw five hundred dollars at a time, and everything's going to be digital now. I mean, it doesn't surprise me because you can't you can't control the population. No, that, and that's here. a test ground for here, right? Yeah. Well, it's a test ground for the world. A lot of the a lot of a lot of the memes were saying, "Oh, you guys obviously forgot about this," and they're showing all these fucking camps that they had built that are I just mean, that, sitting there overgrown. Again, Australia, what happened? You guys were. I mean, Australia, you guys were badass. What happened? You had rugby. I mean, wasn't that Australia? Didn't they have the biggest mass shooting of all time? No. No. Are you Come sure? On. Yeah, a hundred percent sure. By one person? No. Mm-mm. Look it up. Sure. You got you got the fucking thing in yeah, your hand. Hundred percent sure they didn't have the biggest mass shooting. Jamie. The biggest mass shooting was conducted by U.S. Cavalry at Wounded Knee, where we killed a whole lot of uh, Indians that didn't have any guns. Native American Indians. Native Americans. Yes. Okay. What else? How many people died in Pearl Harbor? Uh, 
I don't know. It's like it's not as many as you think. Right. But it wasn't really under five thousand. I th- I think more people. I I again. Internet's going to correct me. I believe that more people died in the Twin Towers than uh, than did at Pearl Harbor. How many people just died in Hawaii right now? Uh, I'm the last I heard we were up to a hundred. I heard it's up to a thousand, and they're not reporting it. Maybe. I, I I would assume. Why were the kids not at school on a scheduled school day? How did what happened? I would assume that the reason I would assume that uh, when you when you say not reporting, uh, I would say that the the type of fire it was and the type the type of the type of fire it was and how much area was destroyed. It's going to just take time to find all those. It's it's not like you know. Bodies are just poking up out of the ash. It's going to take time to find all those people. Now, Spirico, Jack was saying, look, I know I know, guys are saying laser, and he's saying horse shit. He's like, look, most likely it's like they're reporting it's power lines or a cow knocked over a fucking lantern in a barn someplace, and it just went crazy. <clears throat> but there sure is a bunch of weird shit around it. There's a ton of weird shit. Like, Name like, them off. Again, I'm not... Uh, when I because because people are showing people are showing these things where they're like oh it's a it's a laser and then they're showing a picture of yeah, the bullshit. fucking rocket yeah. going off or whatever, um, but the again that area of Hawaii was selected for the the new what do they call that micro city or yeah, the, the fucking the fifteen minute cities fifteen Smart minute cities. city so that that portion of Hawaii was already selected by the the mayor. For being a smart city. And there had been a lot of turmoil around there. All those houses but, that burnt down, the big corporations have been trying to buy that yeah, property. Yeah, nobody would, uh, you know, real Hawaiians, like real Hawaiians, they o- didn't want to sell Oprah's their property. Oprah's got a place right there. Bezos mm-hmm. has a place. By the the way, island is 700 miles. And by the way, uh, Oprah's, Oprah's house was not touched by fire. So everything I keep seeing says that all of those elites' houses weren't touched by fire. Now, the question is, were any of them? Is there? Can you find one elite person's house who was touched by fire. And the other question too is, and I'm not guys, I'm not defending this. I'm just saying we're really quick to read some stuff, not research it and send it out. I've done it myself. And Jeff's like, Hey, that picture's from four years ago. Right. But I see it today and I send it out and send it to my, you know, list of close friends that I sent something to yesterday. That's why they're on the top. So if you get something from me, <clears throat> that's why, because I sent you something yesterday. And when you stop replying, I generally stop sending you shit. You fall off my list. Um, can you find any of the elites out there with big properties and compounds and shit whose house did burn down? Were there any of those? I haven't, I haven't seen any of them. Um, Here's number two, just like in San Diego. And there was a bunch of people pissed about this, but a lot of these big estates during the California fires hired private firefighters did they have any of that, right? Or do they have fucking a system on their... Do they have well, ponds let, that can fucking here's water the, their areas? Okay. Let, get rid of the conspiracies. Yes. Okay? I've been in Hawaii. So get rid of the conspiracies. Hawaiians... Sorry, don't be offended. They live to a different standard. A little more... A little more carefree. Okay? So they live a little more carefree. There's a little more... Uh, pond fronds and highly flammable shit that is everywhere. Okay. And those neighborhoods are packed close. Okay. So those neighborhoods are packed close. They're, they don't have a problem with a house that's made out of fucking, like you know, in Thailand. Pond fronds are, are not a house, but a, you know, their, their back porch or whatever. Packed close. The lanai or A lot of stuff all over the place. Um, they're Hawaiians. You know, there's chickens running around on the road. Now, you take Oprah Winfrey's place. Oprah Winfrey's place is going to have a perimeter. She bought enough property where she's not right next to her neighbor. So, again, it's more likely because of the way Oprah Winfrey's house is set up because she doesn't want, you know, people looking over her fence and seeing her in her underwear that her house is going to survive while everybody else, everybody else's house is not going to survive because they're so close. So that when that wind hit, it just spread throughout – it didn't have the capability to spread on Oprah's because Oprah's house has a right. perimeter, right? So fire abatement th- that could be all part of it, right? Um, unfortunately, the electric company was not 
the electric company in Lanai was not trimming the trees. The tr- the power lines were completely covered in trees. Which is tree weird growth. because that's a very high, high dollar place, right? Yeah. Benton County. Not, here. It's a, but here's the thing, John. It's a high dollar, dollar place if you and me want to go buy a piece of property there. But the local Hawaiians, it. it's it. not a high, uh, not saying that I get it that their property value is not, but they've been living there so long. That's how that, Leaper's Fork is, right. and, and it's beautiful, and there's all these art studios and shit. Willie Nelson had a place there. Taylor Swift's got a place there. Justin Timberlake just built a place there. The local people there, though, who owned the original people who have been there all this time, their tax base went up so high that they actually hold concerts. Willie Nelson would hold concerts. And then take all the money to pay all those other people's, people's property. taxes. Yeah. So I so uh, the tragedy of this fire could literally just be the power company's not trimming the tree trimming the trees back, lack of services, meaning lack of fire departments. It it, it could be a lot of I, I I mean, I think this whole thing can be chalked up to um, failures from a government standpoint right uh because the reality is the governor should have forced the electric company to trim the trees trim the trees we do all, yeah. all you, your county yeah, I know. They, they trim 20 trees. feet on both sides of power both lines sides. just to keep the trees from knocking the power out so outside of the conspiracy this could all be this could all just be a real natural disaster or a real human disaster because we created the we created the circumstances that made this possible. Oh my possible. god, you're about to die! Hold oh, on. Oh Jesus, look at that thing! Hold on, kill it! You didn't. You just made it mad. That, that, hey, it'll, it'll look, bite he's mad. Shit out of you. No, he's not going to bite me. He's, oh, you just put. Total you just war. gave him workout. Gave him total war. Total war. Jesus, he's still alive. Ah, total war. Uh, total war. Just that what you here. Mean, just please put that out of it. Just movie. do like this. It's, there's, it's hollow on the. But he's suffering. What do you mean suffering? He's, he looks like he's hurting. He does not have any idea of what suffering is. Jesus, you just wow. shot him out at me. Here he is. Boop, Randall. <laughs> Can you get all the his pieces off? Of I know. Desk? Jesus. Okay. Anyway, so total. This could all be just total man-made uh, failures that created this disaster. The crazy thing is. The governor already declared this place his, you know... Yeah, we're not letting pet, any net, outside places take it. His pet we're project. Gonna, we're going to declare it a park. His pet project. Um, which the insurance would, companies... Which, if you owned a major compound there, wouldn't you be glad all those yeah, fucking locals weren't out there? The insurance companies aren't paying... Anything. To rebuild the nat- houses. Yeah, act of God. You, well, no, because you were outside of city zoning. So the city zoned in a way that they say they cannot rebuild these houses. Well, they didn't have insurance is what it came down to. They um, didn't have Oprah's insurance. You know, the fucking, the, it only took them two days to write the book. <laughs> the Guys, book is already out on they had And they had Amazon. eyewitness reports in the book. The book was already out less than 48 hours. And from, they're saying. And the fires weren't even out. And they're saying uh, it was all climate change, which this had nothing to do with climate. It had nothing to do with climate. Every single one of these can every every bit of this can be attributed to a man created problem. Um, <coughs> it's just it's it's weird. It's weird, and I did see a, <coughs> I did see a video. There's there's a bunch of different videos where they're they're like saying laser. There is one video that really looks like because it's moving. It's moving across transformers, and the transformers are blowing up, and then it goes back to another transformer. It really looks legit, but again, you don't know what's legit anymore. Would right? you? You would, don't know. Would we have a, a weaponized laser that was visible to the human eye? I don't know. Well, okay. So what, when you see that, when this one here, when you see this video, which is interesting, it's not visible. Except for the smoke, so uh, I don't know. It's just it's just very it's just very weird and interesting that this is going on. And it, hey, we know what the aircraft is because the Air Force actually has the aircraft. Um, and there are ninjas out there, all you ninjas on uh, on the internet that follow aircraft. 
was that airplane even over there? Monkey works. If that airplane was over there, that if that airplane was anywhere, I would say if that aircraft is anywhere in the Pacific, then so holy shit. So we're using this weapon. This is an aerial platform weapon? It's an aerial platform weapon, yes. It's not coming from a satellite? It's not coming from a satellite. And what's that program called? Do we know? Uh, it's, it's actually from, believe it or not, it's part of the Reagan Star Wars program. Oh, yeah. It was, uh, it was Boeing. There, <clears throat> it used to be a Boeing 7, 747 that had a, a laser thing on the, on the back of it, on the hump. And it was supposed to be able to shoot down ballistic missiles. This thing is actually on the front of the aircraft, and it's like a gimbal, like you would see on a helicopter, like an old gun turret on a kind of like a gun turret, yeah. But so, it, there's pictures of like it, like the Apache so. has. What um, but what's that? What's the that thing called? There's a I keep seeing, and I can't. It's not coming to mind. They'd actually ask Congress about it in like the '90s or whatever, and they got all fucking weird about it when Congress was asking somebody about this thing. Well, it's 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 a it would be a derivative of Reagan's right. Star Wars program pre nineties. Yeah, pre nineties Reagan Star Wars program, and it would be a holdout of something that uh, that would be left over. The question is, would it even I mean, be left? Out? I mean, surely we have something way more current. The the no, because it again, it's all about technology, right? You you start for example, uh, most people don't realize this. Lyndon Johnson. So after Kennedy was assassinated. Lyndon Johnson became the president of the United States. He had a fucking cell phone in his car. It took all those years to make it commercially available. It's the same thing with military technology. Well, my, my point is, if we're talking about something from Reagan era right now, who's who's going to perpetrate this crime, right? It's, well, it'd be be, the, it's the Air Force. Probably not the Air Force. It's the it's Air Force. Some, it's some DARPA program or no, some no, no, fucking no, no, CIA no. program that has access to new technology. Nope, because it's not new technology. Do you think, so it's not. So it would be the Air a, Force. And even if again, even do you if think it was, there's an air crew. Yeah. If okay. Again, I'm not saying laser. every time I come, I, I'll throw something. And you're like, no way. Somebody would have said something. I, again, I'm not. I am in no way saying that the Air Force fired up this aircraft and were shooting That's lasers. That's what got it. Okay. I'm not saying they're doing that. Uh, I'm saying that it's it's there and it's an, it's old technology. It's I, not I, new. So, right. And I'm saying just imagine what we currently have. If we were doing that in the 80s. Did you see uh, Did you see RoboCop? Yeah. Uh, go ahead and uh, if you haven't seen RoboCop in a long time, go ahead and watch the opening of RoboCop. What happens in the beginning of RoboCop? When that thing goes crazy? The, the defense laser the the defense laser system accidentally fires and fires and burns up Santa Barbara. Was that in RoboCop? Yeah, it's at the beginning of RoboCop where the defense laser system accidentally fires, kills two senators and burns up Santa Barbara. Okay, now give me some of the what are the conspiracy theories um, that you're hearing around Hawaii? That's has, the, has Alex Jones spoke on this yet? I don't know. Uh, that's the big one is that it's lasers. Yep. Um, and and that we heard about the tunnel systems. The fire department was pulled out prior to the actual real portion of the fire. That I saw something this morning where they were talking about the police were actually blocking people from leaving. I've heard that. I've heard um, the chief of police or whoever's oh, yeah. in charge of local government there was also the, the um, task commander for the police department in Las Vegas yes. during the shooting, the, which was Jason Aldean's yeah. concert. Um, I heard Bear saying this morning that he knew guys that were actually at the concert, prior service dudes, and they're like, those are fucking belt-fed guns. Uh, that could be uh, the, the police department guy, because most people don't know this. That could be just bad luck, right? It could just be bad luck because... Are we talking about belt-feds? No, we're talking about okay. the the sheriff who's now Got the it. incident okay. commander who's now the incident commander in Hawaii. That could just be bad luck because when a when a when a sheriff retires, the the scam that How the, did he have the money to retire there? The scam you, you and I couldn't retire there. The scam that uh, law enforcement that senior law enforcement does is for example, you retire Orange County Sheriff Okay, so you, you get to a certain point, at, you get to age 55 at Orange County Sheriff's, and you have to retire. What you do is, in, what you do in order to keep making your retirement money, is you just go work for another municipality. So if I'm the, if I'm the uh, chief, of, chief of police in Las Vegas, 
and I have to, I hit mandatory retirement in Las Vegas. I moved to Hawaii and become the chief of police in Hawaii. They pay me. Because you couldn't get that position in Las Vegas. <laughs> yeah, because you can't. You have to, you have to move. It's move up or move, or it's, it's move, move out. Over. So when you're, there's a mandatory retirement for like, I know Orange County sheriffs, but that's how, that's why a lot of times you'll see like, um, you'll see the the sheriff the the sheriff of LA County becomes the police chief of uh San Diego County because he can continue to dip into his retirement and make that he so he's du- basically and still the, get double so Yeah, double they're pay. double dipping. So that could just be an accident. And then uh you know, the Las Vegas thing. Here's the thing, but this is the thing about Las Vegas when when people go belt feds he could have used a belt fed he was a legal resident of nevada i'm with you but they he didn't had show, a, they he, didn't show any belt feds that's right he could have used a belt fed i mean my thing is my thing with that whole thing is why wouldn't he have used a machine gun why would you go to all the trouble Right? Why not use a machine gun? He's a legal Nevada of resident or legal Nevada resident, and he had the financial he had the financial money. He was he had the ability to just buy a machine gun. Like he could have instead of fucking around with twenty. I think he just didn't know what the fuck he was doing because he could have bought a machine gun. He could have had a two forty golf up there, and that would have made a, that would have made that whole thing a lot different. Wasn't he a super liberal dude, anti-Trump guy? Do, does anybody know? They they've never they've never released any of that. Like it's it, anything that we didn't it, they, and didn't they pick his wife up in another country and had a huge bank account, hundred thousand dollars, and she had prior right like within days been in the United States, yes. right? Uh, and then when there's something super weird with his brother too. Well. Yeah, I, I don't remember. I th- well, his, I think, again, because we're because we're dealing with a lot of hearsay, and I believe that his brother said he didn't have anything to do with it, and then they picked his brother up for child porn. But I they, believe that's what happened. But is it unfathomable that they would put that there to get him to give up information? I mean, I don't know. I, I don't. It's a it's a crazy. It's one of those crazy things. We know, we know everything about the JFK assassination. Do, and, do we? Because RFK just said we don't. Like, well, I'm just saying that, like, uh, from an investigation point, RFK okay, named the guy that killed him. And from an investigation point, we know every step from the from the time that he left the book depository building to the time he went to the moot. We know every step that Lee Harvey Oswald have you took. Seen the, we don't know anything about. Have you this seen guy. the recent thing about um, JFK's assassination? They're like for. Decades and decades, we haven't been able to identify this babushka right here, this old woman. Oh, that is a uh, Rothschild. A Rothschild, yeah. Yep. And they, who was video? Who was not videotaping? She was filming the whole thing. How and, come we haven't seen her? And and somebody said, somebody said, you know, it's really weird that the CIA and the FBI and nobody could solve this, and we found out who she was within three days. Here's well, who she was. Did you see the? Did you see the other thing? I don't know. Oh, anyway, so they show her, right? They show her. And she is surrounded by a security detail. detail of Secret Service. Secret, but they name the guys. Yeah. Like they're like, this is this guy. This is this. They name them all. So that's it's just crazy. And I mean, they, I, they I don't, would all be passed away by now, right? Uh, yeah, probably. I don't believe for. I mean, again, I'm sorry. I know the JFK assassination was the first real American conspiracy theory, uh, but I do believe that the federal government killed JFK. Yeah, that we well, that we orchestrated an assassination. So RFK is of the belief that Lee Haas, Lee Harvey Oswald was part of MK Ultra, and was actually there with a rifle, but the CIA and the government—that's where we termed. They didn't invent the term conspiracy theory, but they started putting it out under Operation Mockingbird because they wanted to shut down the the public's belief that there might be a secondary shooter, and that's what that was all about. I just watched a fucking fascinating like. Well, if you video from RFK with Crowder yesterday, and if you're hearing this and you leave a comment in here, I'll, I'll find the video and give you the link to it. Believe it, don't believe it, whatever. 
pretty fucking fascinating just to hear the vast amount of topics and what he has to say about if you, individual people. If you have a if you have decided on a high value target, such as the president of the United States. Yeah, of course. You're 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 not gonna have one SEAL team. You're gonna, you're gonna you're, have a you're gonna have multiple you're gonna have multiple shooters in order to ensure that you know, in order to ensure that you you're successful on the target. So I mean Grassy Knoll, fucking train car guys, whatever. I I do believe that we assassinated a president. Well, some somebody did. Who is who is we? I mean, well, and, again, and, all these people: Joe Biden, Ukraine, uh, the CIA, the FBI. They're only operating at the behest of the United States of America, which is us. The well, reason deep, why they're deep state again, even the deep state. The only reason why the deep state is allowed to exist. Is because Americans have not stopped it from existing. Because Americans have not done, yeah, comfortable. Because Americans haven't got like we haven't we haven't gone after the deep state. The tree of liberty hasn't been watered. That that could be true, but that's the only reason why any of the, they're they're operating at the behest of us. So when if JFK was assassinated by the CIA, okay, if this if the if JFK was assassinated by the CIA, that was us. It was that the CIA is us. And if we are not willing to, if we're not willing to fucking smack the CIA down for that, then what they did is acceptable. It's no different when they were, it's no different when they were trying to defame uh, Martin Luther King, when they were going after, when the FBI was going after Martin Luther That's King. That's where all your gun control laws came from. But again, because they wanted to unarm black people. Again, the FBI, you, we cannot agree with what the FBI was doing. But because we didn't immediately smack the FBI down for doing that, then the FBI, as far as the FBI is concerned, what they did was all right. It was okay because the American people didn't do anything about it. So he said they, they killed him because he wanted to break up the planning side versus the action side of the CIA, the logistics side versus the action side. And he said, you know, that's, that, that's what Trump said he wanted to do. And there's, there was a lot of people... Like you just got to listen to it. It's fucking. It's absolutely like insane. Is the only word that I can use to describe this. And they probably killed him for the Bay of Pigs. Well, that's that ties into yeah. it, though. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That, they probably that, killed that's him for part the Bay of, Pigs. of it. Yeah, because because the industrial military complex stood to make a lot of money over that. Yeah. It, yeah. Even Trump, even Trump, when people were like, "Why are we still in Iraq and Syria?" He came out. He said, "The military industrial complex will not let me pull out of this." This war. Yeah, the president is not in as much control as people think the president is in no. control of. No, it's permanent government. So Trump has eight days to surrender to I mean, we'll see jail? What, we'll see what happens. They said the same thing in New York. Well, we, we sat here and said there's no way they're going to indict him and do this out of D.C. a few months ago. And now there's a, there's a fourth, there's apparently another indictment on a, in another state, so this is the third, I guess. Yeah, it's. it's so at what point are we like, okay, okay, maybe this is real? No, they, they, John, the reality of Trump is, if any of it was real, if any. No, of no, it, no, no, no. I'm not saying what they're accusing him of was oh. real. How far are they going to take this? I don't, I don't and when, know. at what point, do we be like, okay, they're actually going to execute? I don't know because liberal because liberals are crazy. They're, well, they're never they're never going to execute a president. They're we, never. We would have said they were never going to. No, no, no. They're never going to execute a president. Put him in jail. I mean, I, I don't. I again, I don't even see that happening. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. I didn't think Trump would get elected the first time, and he got elected. But. I don't think they're that fucking crazy. I think that they're looking for that uprising. No, no. What, what, yeah, they are looking for that uprising. But all these things, basically, all these things are to get Donald Trump to quit. Why has the United States never been invaded? Why? Yeah. Well, because Mexico and Canada. Is that really why? Yeah. And two, and two giant oceans. Nobody has a cape. Nobody has a nobody. Even today, which is crazy, even today, no one has the logistical footprint to bring an army from overseas. The Chi like the Chinese don't have when when 
you know, when the Department of Defense is trying to scare you and going, oh my God, the Chinese have the biggest Navy in the world. They don't have the logistical footprint. They don't have the, the amphibious vehicles to invade Taiwan. I watched they the, certainly don't have the ability to come all the way to the United States. I watched a seminar. I don't, I don't know who he was speaking. I don't remember who it was, but he was in an enormous conference hall. <clears throat> and he said, yeah, you always, you always hear about China having this huge military. He's like, we just launched an aircraft carrier that is it's bigger than all of their aircraft carriers put together. And while you hear this huge Navy, it's frigates and it's fishing boats and it's, yes. it's not real. I, like I just saw a picture of a, a Russian aircraft carrier. Their deck is curved. Like it almost has to yeah, fucking launch the, the, that's br- the same way airplanes the, up in the, the air. Chinese are, uh, they don't have uh, no one in the world. So if you think about like, I don't know, let's think about the Brits, for example, the Brits have a pretty solid Navy. They don't have the they don't have the navy that would be necessary to land troops in the United States and sustain them for a long term fight. No one has the capability that the United States has. The only reason why the world the only reason why anything that you think is freedom related, the only reason why is because of the United States Navy. The United States Navy guards those shipping lanes. They are the reason why we can get fucking avocados from Peru or oil from the Middle East because of the U S Navy after world war two, we guaranteed those shipping lanes and that has created, it's created a freer world all around. The reason why people have been brought out of poverty is because we've been able to get things from all these places that has allowed jobs and things to it. It's really the, you, the entire world really owes a debt to the United States Navy. Like, owes a debt for keeping those shipping lanes open. Um, so nobody has the, nobody has the capability we do, but our capability is shrinking because we don't have the forces necessary to man those vessels. So yes, do we have a, uh, I think we're at like 11 carrier Navy right now. Do we have 11 carriers that we can put in the Pacific or out in the wherever? Probably not. I don't think we could, I don't think we could troop them up. Because, uh, again, an aircraft carrier is not just an aircraft carrier. There's hundreds of support ships that go along with that with that system. So uh, I don't think the Navy has the capability to do that. And it, it's only our, our recruiting is only getting smaller. So there's going to be a point where we are going to retract out of those areas uh, in the world that we keep safe. And contrary to popular belief, it's not going to it's, – it's not going to turn into some – fucking one world govern utopia it's going to turn into total chaos because china russia japan the philippines all those places are going to be vying for control of really small sea spaces and they're going to fight where you know for the last i don't know 60 years when the koreans or the the koreans or the japanese or the the chinese just said, hey, we're going to we're gonna fight over this shit. We'd take a carrier group, and we'd move it over there, and we'd park it, and we'd be like, no, nobody's fighting over shit. China, you keep sending, sending us all this Walmart crap. Japan, you just do whatever you're going to do. Korea, calm the fuck down. They would all calm down because they can't compete. They could never compete with that type of uh, force that we could – because, again – we can do it right now. You know what I'm saying? We can, they can put a carrier group anywhere in the fucking world. We want to put it. You want to put a carrier group in Antarctica. There'll be a fucking carrier group. Yeah, we can say, do that. Too. Don't they say 24 hours? Yeah. The name, the, the, I mean, again, <clears throat> the entire world owes a debt of gratitude to the fucking United States Navy because, because again, that's the only reason why any of this shit has been from a global perspective. Any of that shit has been working. Once it once we shrink back to an isolationist country, again, are we going to have inflation and deficit? All kinds of crazy shit's going to be going Don't on. Don't you but, have that now? But worse, we're gonna we're still going to survive. But the rest of the world, fuck, it's going to be goddamn jungle out there. Yeah, they're going to eat each other. It's going to be a jungle because everybody will be vying for the same position. So, uh, yeah, again, thank if you know somebody who 
is in the Navy, thank the U.S. Navy, because they're the ones that are keeping the peace. So you don't seem too worried about any of this? No. I, mean, I can't worry. I mean, you just got an electric bicycle. It's, uh, <laughs> it's, you can't. You, you don't even have solar panels. You don't even seem to I do, worry that the I electricity do have is going to turn off. I do have solar panels. I also have a generator. I also have, I have, I have stuff. Why do you want an electric bike? Because I want to go to, um. Sturgis? No, 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 no. Uh. It's the battlefield. Uh, God, I can't think of the name Are of the battlefield. you talking about the Civil War battlefield? Yeah. I want to go to the Civil War battlefield. God. In New Johnsonville? No, 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 no. On the way to Jackson? There's a, no, there's Outside a real, of Paris. A real Civil War battlefield. I can't, sorry, if you fought They're here. They're everywhere. Um, no, no it's nobody a, listening fought here. It's the big one. It's the big one. It's uh, Gettysburg. No, Shiloh, maybe? Anyways. Shiloh? Anyways. So, uh, I want to go camp. And ride the bike around the battlefield. Because it's a big battlefield. Why do you need an electric bike for that? Because it's a big battlefield. Because you can't have gas vehicles in there? Well, you can, but it doesn't, it's not as, it's not as, it's not really as car friendly as you would think it would be. We're going to see Jeff on one of those uh, cop watch videos. They're going to stop him for electric bicycle. Hey. If if you're a police officer and you pull me over because of my electric bike, they are pulling dudes over. Gonna, they're, they are putting all kinds of laws. As soon on those as you get out of things. your car, I'm going to be like, mm, I'm going to move forward. I'm going to uh, come on. You got, you're going to have to chase me if I'm on an electric bike. That's crazy. Yeah, I think it's perfect for that. For going, I to, agree. I think it is too. Perfect for going around the. Are you going to have two of park? them? No. I'm What's Gina going to ride? Gina ain't going to no damn battlefield with me. Really? Yeah, she ain't going to no battlefield. She doesn't me. go out when you deploy the the van? No. No. Uh uh-uh. who well, flies we, the drone? We, we've only deployed the van. Uh the so the van got deployed to California and Cincinnati. I went alone to Cincinnati. Me and Megan I took Megan and mom to California and back. because uh, the the you know, there's she got pets and they gotta be taken care of. Cows and whatnot. Yeah, you got a whole farm. You guys should yeah. get parrots. No, I don't want parrots. Because I'd like to have one at your house. I don't want parrots. I do. I would like some peacocks. I got you. Like, Are you sure you want peacocks? Like five of them. You only think you want No, I want peacocks. peacocks. You know they don't. They're not going to stay where you want them to stay. I don't care where they go. I, As a matter of fact, get me breeding pears that I could release into the wild around my house. Because I just want that jungle sound. And peacocks, they give that jungle sound. They yep. make it. You have they no make idea. it jungle. I mean... You can't imagine, you can't imagine a a a low a low rising moon on the horizon, night vision goggles, M4 carbine, laser, peacock noises in the jungle. Oh man, it would ju- it'd be like I was back in the ville. Have you heard the quail noises? I haven't heard your quails make any noise. They sound just like little dinosaurs. Yeah, but they don't get on the hood of your car and scratch your shit up. They don't shit on your front porch. Well, I, that's why I said. The quail, the, wild. the quail made it all the way through the winter. We didn't even give them any heat the or peacocks anything. not make it through the winter? I don't know about that. Mm. I, don't know. I don't know. I just want the jungle noises, really. I, want I, the I really noises. think you don't want... You, you, you should do monkeys. No. who? No. Nobody wants monkeys. Talk they, about throwing Monkeys poop. make way better. Have you seen the <laughs> fucking the packs of monkeys that are loose in Florida? No. Dude, they're swinging tree to tree. They're fucking beating people up. They're stealing shit. Like, like legit... <laughs> Legit fucking the the natural the the natural wildlife <laughs> the natural wildlife in Florida is just it has hook. to be off the and well it has to, natural wildlife in Florida has to be on the verge of total extinction because you know, everything uh, there is an evasive species. You know about <laughs> python cowboy? Uh, I know they hunt pythons. So we have we have a we have some clients that do the same similar thing. Um, I don't think their accounts as big. They've invited us to come down and shoot. Uh, with FX, Air, I think it's FX. If I'm, oh, yeah, if I'm getting this wrong, sorry guys. Yeah. Uh, FX, the owner of FX is coming down, and they've invited us out to go shoot iguanas and shit. <clears throat> the Python Cowboy dude was recently on Rogan, so he's got a lot of press. He was talking about he's out in Florida in this place that that nobody goes to, and he shot, um, he he captured the world's record Burmese python, and you capture them by hand, and then you he shoots them in the head with a gun, right? Right. Well, it fucking bit him. Got a hold of him. He's it's it's, it's literally he's holding on to this. It's pulling him out off the island into the water. Swings back, bites him. He's fucking bleeding. It has a tourniquet and shit. It, it cut like a vein or something in his arm. 
and he was talking about that. But one of the things he was talking about that I, while I was listening to this, he was talking about this place, this abandoned place that was a rocket facility uh, where they were testing rockets out in the middle of fucking nowhere. And it, you, you drive hours to get to this place, and then you hike like a fucking hour to get in there. And there's a bunch of weird, like, satanic shit going on. And he's like, something happened while we were there. This doll fucking grabbed me. Like, oh, it's like great ghost story, whether, right. you know, I believe he believes it was real, right? But he's like, there's a bunch of weird shit around this. When you look at the founder who founded this this company, who owned the property, was a known Satanist. He was out there with the Church of Satan doing all this shit and just crazy, crazy story. Are we gonna go? I would love to go. I I I would I, love to go. I we totally could go. I'm not walking. I'm not hiking in. I'm gonna ride the electric, electric bike because I'll have supplies on it. Do you know somebody at Super Seventy Three? I know someone that knows someone. Could we get a couple of them? I mean, would they want to sponsor our expedition? Would you go to Florida? Yeah. Would you go to Florida? I think we could get John down there for eight hours. I mean, I'd have to. We'd, I'd have to sleep on the way there. Well, I mean, that, Amanda would be driving, so you'd be asleep. I'd go to Florida. You'd go. I'll go to Florida. 100%. I can't get you to go to fucking Ramston, Germany, but you'll go to Florida. You think we could get hundred percent to fly in? No. 100%. 100%. Somebody was listening. He's like, I knew you were talking about Mike when you said that. Uh, I mean, he's 100%. Uh, what, I mean, I, I can't even imagine taking him on a, a ghost tour of Florida. Well, I was thinking you'd probably, we'd probably kill iguanas while we're there. Shouldn't we bring, like, Ranger Dave or something? No, Ranger Dave yeah. would, like, capture them all. There wouldn't be any left for us. Yeah, he'd have, he's got a little... Like and the all Pied the, Piper. All the iguanas would follow him back up to Oregon. And you shit. know, the Pied Piper story actually was originally children. Children, yeah. All the, but the, that's the thing. All the Grimm's. All the fairy, the fairy tales. tales were not, they were all like bad. And They're then Disney turned them into a little bit of truth. Have you ever listened Disney to Disney uh, turned them into. You still listen to podcasts? Stories. No. Man, do you listen to podcasts at all? Some. Are you ever just like, I'll, I'll get on YouTube and I'm like, I'll, we'll get in the car and I'm like, you want me to put something on? She's like, sure, put something on. We'll drive an hour to Jackson, and I won't even put it. I'm like, I don't know when I'll listen to this. And I'll just keep scrolling, and I can't find the thing. And before you know it, we're there. Um, when I get in a mode like that, I'm like, I just need something that has nothing to do with any of this shit, right? So I'll listen to a podcast by Aaron Mankey called Lore. Yeah, I've to it. Dude, it's so fucking... He's telling you about crazy shit through history that all has something to do with people dying. But it's so soothing with <laughs> that fucking piano music in the background. <laughs> uh, voice too. All right. Did we have any Patreon questions? Do no Patreons? Stop? Huh? Do we have to stop and make a special Patreon message? Why not? I heard that. I think we should. <clears throat> we should talk about. Can you see these Patreon? rigs? Yeah. I think we should stop and Patreon for the so rigs. So we're giving all three of these away? I guess you what, could say that. What's that look? What happened? I what, don't know. what just happened? I guess you <laughs> hold could on, hold on. One. Let me let me reboot you. I guess you could say that. Isn't that what they yeah. do to all the all the actors? Cardi B, didn't she like turn off? <laughs> are yeah, are we'll we gonna make a separate Patreon? Are you gonna make video. a separate Patreon? Let's, let's do a separate Patreon? All right, guys, if you wanna know how to win these three fine rigs. Nobody's getting these motherfuckers. After they've had farts and sweat all over them. <laughs> Texas and Tavor. Um, tune into the Patreon page. We'll see you guys over there. Did you hear that? Is that what's that called? Hey, Ask to mouth. Ask to mouth. Can you hear it? Sing it. I don't know this word. Side for an eye. Now so we got the tools to survive.